always believed that there were several planes of existence. And we as human beings inhabit only one. This show presents evidence based on theory and conjecture. The host purpose is to suggest some possible explanation but not necessarily the only answer to these strange and supernatural events. Sit back listen and enjoy. Welcome to the Paranormal Journal Podcast. What's up everybody? Welcome to the Paranormal Journal Podcast. It is Friday night live and we got Tom Muller and hey, hey. the founders of Above and Below Paranormal, Brandon and Doug. What's up guys? Uh How's it going, fellas? What's going on, man? Happy Friday. Glad Amen. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Same to you. So, hey, tonight. We already got Nicole. Yeah, we got Nicole. So, tonight, man, we got a special for everybody out there. This is a good one. Hey, Mike. Exposing a fraud. We encountered a fraud. We smashed his ass though. We smashed him live in person. It wasn't over a computer, so it's not like uh, we didn't. Uh, this isn't some kind of computer uh, drama bullshit. This is, uh, you know, we we told this guy what we felt face to face with him, and Brandon was there. Uh, it was during an investigation that uh, he invited us to. Uh, I know at the time he probably thought we were a bunch of dicks, but um, <laughs> you know, we uh, we had to call <laughs> this guy that. out, man. It was it was terrible. Hey, that's why we're all friends. Yeah, for all, I mean, all some dicks. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, it, it, just, it had to be done, man. You know, and uh, it, I, I didn't want to do it that way, but you know, he kind of asked for it. Uh, I'm not going to mention his name right now, but we're going to bring. You're going to hear his name and another investigator's name throughout some of the clips we're going to play <laughs> of the uh, the bullshit and the. Uh, that's a big problem in the paranormal field right now in the community of, of what we do um as investigators you know you you want to be truthful about everything you do and you know your reputation is pretty much all you have man and this if you you fuck that up it's over you're finished man like you're done nobody's gonna want to deal with you no place is gonna let you into it unless they're about as retarded as you are you know so it's got to watch purpose you gotta watch saying that word john the yeah, R- yeah, right that gets you kicked off TikTok for a week. Yeah, I don't so, do TikTok, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing, though, that we got to mention about this is it makes all of us look bad. You know what I mean? Everybody who's tuning in, all of us makes the entire profession look bad. So, yeah, <clears throat> can't do it. And uh, here we go. Yeah, I mean, uh, this was a case, you know, that uh, not a case, <laughs> but an investigation that Brandon brought us in. To check out it was at uh i don't know if you want to mention the location um brandon we can uh it doesn't really matter to me at all because i don't I'm, i don't really care either man i don't ever plan on fucking going back there so oh, um, well that makes that makes all four of us not going back yeah. so go ahead man shoot your right, shot. So the place is samuel miller mansion so that's the place where we were at um brandon had, had asked us to come along and uh we said sure you know we'll come up so we meet this uh, other investigator and his team, and we're, it was just Brandon at that location at that time, and it was me and uh, Don, who was the other founder of our group. So, you know, we go into the mansion, and I had been there with with Brandon one other time and uh, checking the place out, and we had a couple cool things happen when we were there. Um, yeah, got to watch out for that haunted bathroom. Yeah, I got locked in the bathroom. <laughs> it was weird as shit. I was like, I thought he was totally fucking with me. I was in there taking a leak, you know. I tried to open the door, and the door was locked. It was like, Hey, dude! I'm like banging on the door. I'm like, hey, just I was look, look. I was in completely <laughs> in another room. I wasn't even close. And John yeah, comes like, out the bathroom. He's hey. like, "You were fucking with me." I'm like, "Dude, I was standing here the whole time." I swear. And then, <laughs> real fast. 
John, you can attest when you listen back to the audio, you can tell I was nowhere near the record. No, like, not a door at all. So no, I mean you hear me taking a leak, like you hear the piss like going in the water. Like <laughs> you hear the bathroom, you hear the lock go click. Like it, and my the you know if you're taking a leak, the door is to your back, and you hear it just click. You know, and I had no idea, but when I opened it, went to open it, it was locked. I was like I trying to freak out for a minute because I didn't see that switch up there, and I'm like. Hey man, what? you fucking with me or something? We lock it with a key or something? Yeah, John's like, I was about to call you and tell you to let me out. <laughs> yeah, so I'll start fucking wailing on that door. I was like, hey man, what the fuck is going on here? But so, um, I'm so glad you didn't rip one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought Don was going to come on, but Don's not going to come on. So, um, but Don could have tested the whole thing. He was there. He was kind of annoyed with it uh, as much as I was. But uh, the whole the whole scenario was, you know, we were supposed to investigate that that night uh, for a, a good period of time, and uh, I think for the first two hours, um, you know, it was just, I think you and Tony were upstairs talking to somebody on the phone or something. And yeah, we were trying to help Doug with the case in uh, Indiana, actually. Yeah, <laughs> it was a fake case. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah, me and Don were <clears throat> me, Don, and the other investigator uh, was downstairs. So, you know, we're in the back where allegedly this Thomas, you know, that uh, I think you guys made contact with somebody named Thomas or something back there. And uh, the, the the chick is already like sitting in that chair. Things are going to happen. I did have some something weird when me and Brandon were, were there. Uh, it felt like something like went like this on the back of my head, but it could have been a bug. I don't know. Was it paranormal? Possibly. Don't know. You know what I mean? It didn't happen again. So she said, you sit in that chair, things are going to happen, you know, all this shit. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'll sit in the chair. No big deal, you know? So I sat in that chair. I think you guys were upstairs for a good two hours at least. Um, so I sat in that chair two hours. I didn't have jack shit happen in, in two hours. Um, so they came down, and we went lights out with everything, and we are sitting back in the same corner. And uh, right away, this this guy... But you're gonna hear his name. His, his name's Tony. Um, he sits in the chair, and um, he starts having activity kind of like right away. It's tapping on his chair, and you know, right away I'm getting suspicious with the guy because I'm like, you know, it's tapping. I sat in the chair for two fucking hours. He's like, nothing happened. You know, like nothing, absolutely nothing. And uh, he sits in it. He's not even in it five minutes. He's already got things kicking his chair, tapping on his chair. And it's just, it's insane. Which I'm going to play a couple of clips, let people hear what, you know, this whole scenario, We re I recorded it, this whole. I can't wait to hear it. This whole, I, I broke the I broke the whole thing down. It's way too long to just keep playing straight through. Plus uh, StreamYard, you know, won't let you play it like that. But I broke it down into clips of, of different things that I thought were interesting. And uh, oh, I'm going to jump in, John. Sarah Lou, we are uh, talking about exposing. Uh, <laughs> individual who was uh faking evidence which we're gonna bring his could, name up later and his group and i just want to do a shout out to christina i hope uh charger charger is doing well but we're gonna mention his name later and his group but not i don't think all the members in his group are like like this guy i mean this guy is a complete fraud a hundred percent and if people are going to associate themselves with him they really better check yourself because you're going down the wrong path with this dude and you're going to be fucked in, in the future with this guy because he's not, he's not a good guy at all. He's a fraud. Anybody associated with him is down the well, shitter real quick. It's going to happen. Trust me. Just to, um, just to feed off of you real fast, John, uh, you know, me and Doug always talk about it. There's a difference of, you know, being fake and not truly knowing. And, uh, you know, I think that's where some of the members are. You know, this is their first team. This is really their first investigation, you know. So, like, mm -hmm. I appreciate you saying that because, you know, I definitely don't think everybody on the just, just a few. No, I think the, the, the main the main girl with him and him are in cahoots with their bullshit and uh, their little fake plays that they're skit that they do. Um, and uh, it's uh, a bunch of bullshit. And I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and we called him out. And Brandon was there. We called him out. Like, this wasn't like I said. This wasn't some internet bullshit. We we smoked his ass right there in front of the owner of the place, Brandon himself, uh, and his 
I don't know, Oprah Winfrey that was with him because she was doing all the interviewing. So, <laughs> and you're going to see later of, of uh, the interviewing that she does with this guy that's uh, you get a ghost. You get a ghost. Like a ghost. You yeah, get a ghost. Kind of like oh. a ghost. <laughs> Uh, George, uh, we have not uh, named the name yet. We have not. We will, though. We will. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to watch this and say, oh, he's full of shit. I got a witness right here that was right there watching. Brandon was there the whole time. He's seen it. He was well, there. You know, that's not, that's not the only place. Yeah. So. And I got these guys here because this same guy tried the same fuckery on Brandon and Doug. The, the founders of Above and Below Paranormal. And that's what the main reason why I came out this, because to be honest, when this all happened, uh, you know, me and Brandon weren't on the same page with this guy. Brandon wanted to be friends with him. And, you know, I tried to tell him, I was like, dude, I can't be seen with a fucking guy like this. Like, what, what I do, it's just impossible. You know what I mean? And I understand where he's coming from. He doesn't want to be, you know, beefing with somebody and shit like that. And nobody wants to be beefing with anybody, but there's a big difference between the right side and the wrong side of shit. You know what I mean? And that guy is 100% on the wrong side of what we do. And, uh, but we, we had our little differences and, you know, Brandon came clean and, you know, told me what was going on. And I, that's why I made this podcast because I think a guy like this needs to be exposed. And uh, it's not good for what, we're we're all doing well and, and thousands of other investigators out there millions actually so and yeah. i just want to i just want to bring up i was trying to keep the peace and i you know john we had our discussion all fair but just for everybody listening uh we were supposed to hold an event here try to plan a paracon so you know uh that takes a lot of people and a lot of members and you know john your team isn't big enough to host one by themselves mine wasn't so you know i tried to get another team you know yeah. and it just it, it turned to shit and backfired. So, you know, I definitely tried to keep the peace, but it is what it is. And we're here today and uh, let the chips fall where they may, you know, that's all I can say. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, right. somebody got a problem with it, you know, like I said, we'll be at a bunch of paracons. Hey, come on over and uh, we'll see what's happening. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got no problem. <laughs> Penhurst. No problem, you know. I'll be at Penhurst. Oh, you, yep, Penhurst. At Penhurst. you can see me at the Battlefield Bash anywhere you want. You come to my table, talk to me. Whatever you want to do. Now, hey, hey no I'm excited. Doug's going to Penhurst for the very first time this year for the Paracon. He's never been for anything. Nice. So yeah. nice. definitely like, going to be a good time. Yeah, but like, we, we don't have anything to hide. You know what I mean? I, I I tell the truth about everything. I don't have nothing to lie about. This is what we do. We're real paranormal investigators. We're not uh, a thrill seeker. We're not, uh, you know, the run of the muck you know paranormal guru bullshit you know we're, we're real investigators we do real investigations all of us <laughs> and uh, it's just this is bullshit and, and needs to be called out so i'm going to play a yeah. couple clips i'll let you hear how this uh, whole thing um unravels it doesn't unravel very well at the end but uh I, unfortunately i didn't get that whole us chewing his ass out at the end on audio i wish i would have but because i would oh, definitely yeah. <laughs> it. um but it all gets set up, you know, with this girl saying, you know, uh, this t the spirit Thomas that's haunting the place, you know, that Brandon and them, Brandon and them actually caught the spirit on EVP recordings. And um, this guy runs with it like the yeah, Olympics, got man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, he's running down the fucking track in the Olympics, dude. So he we've takes gotten off. With it. We've gotten 100% answers through EVP you know, recordings and everything that we know the answers to. And when we get a group in there and we're asking these questions that we already know the answers to and the opposite answer comes out, we got a problem with that. Yeah. So that's just one of the many things that has been going on. Yeah, it's a huge problem in the paranormal field. Yeah. It's like a three-ring circus anymore. And there's a lot of paranormal groups out here that uh deserve more than that you know what i mean like for somebody to be doing that and uh it's disrespectful to all of us dude. everybody in the community not just us not just you guys but everybody that takes this shit serious that's not taking it serious to me that's uh you know right. this this clown's probably going to somebody's house talking about this fucking so i was just gonna scenario. say john so yeah. i was just gonna say dude you can't do that man it's a responsibility no. of what we do so yeah 
All right, here's one of the clips I'm going to play. This is uh, this is the guy turning. He's setting up the tune for what's about to be his uh, possession or channeling or whatever the fuck that was he did. So, so here we go. He's setting it up like he's getting his chair tapped. These are all, all chair taps that I didn't experience in two hours sitting there, but he's, he's experienced them within five minutes. So here we go. How did everybody feel when they were over here? Well, I felt fine. It's fine. Like warming, like welcoming. Yeah, I don't know. No issue. And your issue with Tom, Thomas, the last time was that he grabbed your ear or your shoulder when you were over here. No, nah, I felt like someone rubbed the back of my head. Like, rubbed the back of your head. Yeah. So that was me. He's kind of setting it up. You know, he's getting ready to set up the scenario. So here's another clip. Um, his chair's getting tapped on this one. Yeah. There it is. Something tapped the chair again. Here's another clip. Chair tap again. And I'm saying chair tap again. <laughs> this is all within like five minutes. Chair tap. Chair tap. I'm like, what? What? Something <laughs> different about me in this chair or what? Like, I didn't have shit happen in two hours, but all of a sudden in five minutes, he's got 20 chair taps. You know what I mean? Tom, are you reading the comments? <laughs> Because that's I why am. I laugh. I am. I that's, why, that's why you laugh too. Because I'm just watching them roll yeah. in. I know that. Yeah. Way. I know who that is. Yeah, you're going to know who it is. Oh, Believe God. me. So, uh, it, 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 it seems like the activity just revolves around this guy. Everything. Hold on. Is, Hold on. Uh, somebody, already, somebody already knows his voice. Michelle? <laughs> Dude, it's just. It's there oh, is, yeah. Man. I. I, yeah. I, I I tell you what, when we posted this, I got so many messages, and a lot of them were about this guy, dude. So. Okay. Hey, hold on real fast, John. Just uh, to answer Sarah Lee's question. So at the Samuel Miller Mansion in this area where Thomas is, and like I said, we have EVPs and uh, to back it up. But the rumor is if you sit in this chair, you'll get messed with. Um, with his chair? Yeah, because you sat in his chair, and he's working and all that stuff. Like That's what the owner feeds you. And uh, so, like the first time I was there, I sat in the chair and I had nothing happen. Now I've sat in the chair before and had I felt like something touched me. But I've been there what, Doug, seven times maybe, and I've had I, it once. Yeah. Um. So again, oddball experience. Uh. So it's just it's back in the printing press area. So that's where it is, and you have all the chemicals and all that fun stuff there too. So yeah, just to, just to set it up for you guys. Yeah, maybe you sniffed some of those chemicals before he got possessed. Or... <laughs> so hey, you gotta, thinking, you know. Watch out for them handprints. Yeah. yeah, that's it. You gotta stay. <laughs> yeah, you gotta stay in that room to actually see Thomas. <laughs> yeah. So here, here's an, here's another clip where shit's revolving around him again. So here's another one. Your chair. Nope, Spooky went this way under my chair. Spooky went out. Nope, there's nothing behind you. Do you see my feet? Yeah. Directly behind me on the bar that would be behind me, it felt something stood behind me and put its foot up against the, the chair and kicked it because I actually moved forward. I felt spooky and bumped into the chair. <laughs> yeah, there it is again. He got uh, That's like five chair taps within five-minute period of... Us doing the EVP sessions, and I'm like, dude, <laughs> this is my mind is like, I mean, from the first initial meeting with the guy when we were talking about the Paracon, I had the uh, the whole thing of like, man, this guy is like a super dick. Like, I just, I'm not liking him right, right away. And I was gonna tell Brandon after the the investigation, like, damn, I don't think I can do this this Paracon thing with this guy because he's really not uh you know i wasn't getting a good vibe with the guy like you know you get to you never be around somebody and you're just like man this guy's a real dick you know like that, that's the vibe i was getting you know not, that's just the vibe a, i was getting not a real dick but a super dick yeah he was a super <laughs> dick <man. laughs> yeah he was a super oh, dick he should have had a fucking cape with a big penis on the front of it or something <laughs> like, well, so, well, also for yeah. just people knowing i i saw a huge spooky somewhere Spooky is a cat, but it is not a big cat. Uh, the gentleman himself is, what would you say, Doug? Like 6'2", six 6'3", six somewhere in that area? Uh, what, Tom? Uh, no, Tony. 
Tony. Oh, uh, so, sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm confused. I'm reading the comments while we're yeah, talking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but my point here is he's over 200 pounds sitting in a stool. A, a damn cat's not going to move the chair. Like, let's be honest. No. You know, no. It, come on, man. No. That's got to be a fucking tiger. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, it's, it, it's ridiculous, dude. The whole the whole 40 minutes of this guy, you know, going through this, this shit was... That, uh, that, that, the comments. The comments. I know. I'm just... I'm, I'm dying. It was I'm so dying. bad. <laughs> It was bad, dude. Oh my gosh. It's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. That's terrible. <laughs> so, so oh gonna, my gosh. I'm gonna, I can't stop that. I'm good. I'm gonna play another clip. Uh <laughs> okay. with this was with Oprah Winfrey, which is his um his it's just a woman that does all the questioning for him when he's uh her name is Cindy. Does all the questioning to Thomas the Spirit. Um, and it, it seems funny. It is funny, but it's terrible in the same token. But it is funny as shit to, to be honest. Because I know a couple times I was chuckling in, in you know during the whole thing, and I'm like, and Don's like, hey, this is fucking unreal, man. I'm like, yeah, this. I said, this is how it plays out. You know, we I mean? were like. Dude, I heard John. I heard John chuckle behind me at one point. I even turned around and looked at him. Dude, I'm like this is fucking crazy, man. I've never seen that like this. <laughs> but this is the opening act with uh, Oprah Winfrey. This is what gets us all started into the uh, into the uh, the channeling of uh, Thomas the Spirit. Oh my god! Right, Doug is so... no good. Doug is no good. <laughs> we, might, we might have to mute him. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I mean, that's right. how we're doing. We're laughing, but it's really ridiculous. You know what I mean? But yeah, you know, I so. can see. Her. I, I really can see her. You get a ghost, and you get a ghost. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's it's ridiculous. Oh dude. my god! Oh so my god. so here's the yeah. setup. She 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 sets it up. I think this was like the signal for him to go into his his act, right? So. Here it is, right? She's gonna she's gonna reference Thomas. I, at first, I thought she was just talking like she wanted to hear him in like some EVPs or something. So this was this was how she kind of kicks it off. Thomas, do you want to talk to me tonight? So she's like, Thomas, you want to talk to me tonight? And then uh, and then the opening act of phony uh, phony Tony comes on, and uh, here it goes. You know, boom. Here's the first part of him. You know, I thought he was having a fucking heart attack or something, and I'm sitting there, and she's calling his name, and he's not answering, and I'm like, Tony. And, uh, and now suddenly hearing this. I'm like, what the fuck is that, man? So I'm, like, I'm like, what is that? So I'm like, I click the light on, I shine it on him, and he's over there like, and she's like, turn the light off, turn the light off. And I'm like, uh, all right, well, what the fuck? He's fucking dying? Like, what is wrong with him? You know what I mean? Like, I've never seen this before. You know, I've, I've never seen that before. I've never seen this before. I'm like, what Neither the fuck is I. going on? I'm Neither like, have I. That was the first. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Is he having a heart attack, a stroke? I don't know what the fuck's oh going on. You know? So she's like, turn the light off, turn the light off, and then, then Oprah gets into it. So here, here, here's the opening act right here. Oh my God, Rich! Oh my God! Yo, you gonna answer me? Oh, I'm crying. Hello. Please. Yeah, she tells me kill it, kill the light, because I'm shining a light on him, and he's like, <sighs> like fucking slumped over, like, <sighs> I'm like what the fuck's wrong with this dude, man? She's like, kill the light. I'm like, all right, like, what's up, Greg? What's going on? You know, I'm like freaking out. Like, I think he's dying or something. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. Never seen anybody do anything that ridiculous before. So, I'm your father. 
you guys see Christina? She dealt with literally dealt with the same thing over a year ago. That's a, a year ago. Wow. Yeah, and yeah. I, I, you know, and I talked to you, John, about it. This was literally my second investigation ever. With them. So it's kind of funny how this, like, well, I'm sorry, third investigation. This is funny how it all panned out. So. Oh man, it was horrible. That was. Years. That was the most ridiculous shit I ever experienced in, in, in 25 years of doing this. I was like, what in the fuck is going on here? Like, I thought I was in the Twilight Zone for a few minutes. I'm like, is this really happening? Like, is this like a movie or what the fuck is going on here? I'm thinking it's like, I thought it was Candy Camera or something. So, uh, here is the beginning of Oprah and her dialogue with Thomas, or should I say, Phony Tony. Sorry, I missed your last room. My friends were here. I had a little bit of an accident. They told me they told you I hurt my ankle. I wasn't able to make it. I apologize. Did you fall down the steps? Yes, I did. Okay, now? Hang on. Smarted at the time. I think you Smarted? Yeah, smarted. Who said smarted? Or farted. Smarted. I think you farted. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that. What are you working on today? Wow. Now this is a spirit. This is she's she's talking to Thomas spirit. Okay. This is this we're supposed to be, be believing this shit right now. Like this is supposed to be I'm still I'm at this point I'm still in fucking shock. Like what's what is really going on here? I'm like you know, scratching my head like it's because the white it's because the white blinded you. Yeah, you know. what, the, what the fuck is going on here? Time out for a second. One of one of our friends is on Gina. Please be careful while driving because you're either gonna piss yourself or you're gonna wreck. So pull over right now while you're listening, please. Oh yeah, we're we're just in a bit of a lull right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, we'll get here eventually. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people know this guy, and they they might oh not like you so much, or they might not like you guys so much afterwards. But you know what, dude, we're telling the fucking truth, man. And if you don't like the truth, then go to fucking fantasy land. I don't really give a shit yeah. because that's what this shit is. This is fantasy land here. This is, I don't know, dead files pumped up on steroids. <laughs> You know what I mean? Well, clearly, Dude. clearly, this is not as coming. I mean, we haven't even said the name yet, and, and Dude, I mean, this is obviously chat. not coming as a surprise Dude. to anybody. <laughs> Dude, all, I, I, all I'm saying is it's Zach Bagans 2.0. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Dude, yeah. this the sad part is that you could pick any freaking comment up here, and everybody knows this guy. Like literally, <laughs> so just funny. pick one. Oh they all know. Yeah, <laughs> like, and, we, and we haven't even said oh the name. God. I haven't even we said the name yet. We just yeah. mentioned his first name, but we haven't said like who he belongs or what group is his. Nothing. You just see it. Boom. Yeah. All yeah. down the chat. <laughs> Rich, Rich's oh, yeah. comment. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Ball baggins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, can we put that comment at the bottom? Oh my god! Oh, no. The ball oh, bagging oh, one. Oh my god! That's bad. Oh my god! Zach ball baggins. Oh my god! Yeah, that that just needs to stay I'm at the done. bottom. I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> Anybody that wants to know is <laughs> we nicknamed him Snaggletooth. <laughs> oh man! You know, no matter what is being said, John. I yeah. still think you do hold the ace in the hole from what well, earlier when we were chatting before Brandon and Doug got here. Oh, oh, the little uh, the the thing that you showed me. Oh, uh, with the music. With the music. Yeah, you're. Oh. Man, I got a little special, yeah. special treat for yeah. everybody with some yeah. music, and I think you're all really gonna enjoy it at the end. So we better, um, we better, we better. Yeah. <laughs> we show go we better mute Doug. We better mute yeah. Doug. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the yeah. picture, the picture you sent me, John. I said that was Doug. Was no I good. Was side by side, and Doug was done. Done. <laughs> oh, did you already see it? You guys already seen it? The bug? 
the, yeah. <laughs> the bus. Absolutely. Yeah. John sent that shit to me at 8.30 in the morning while I'm driving to my job, and I'm oh, fucking in the, the truck. <laughs> Dude. Uh, that's John for you. Yeah, man. Not only, not, only, only, not only is the guy a fucking creeper. Dude, when I first seen him, I was like, Dude, he looks like the fucking guy, the rich guy off Men in Black. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, the rest of you guys. <laughs> I'm like looking at him. I'm like, I ain't no fucking beauty queen, you know what I mean? No beauty king, or, you know. But I'm like, oh, fuck. Man, that's, a, that's a rough looking hey, fucking who? cat right there, dude. Like, God, hey, Dave. So, hey, Dave. Um, I'm, I'm looking for a cop. Yeah, Get a cop coming here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So. Ooh, this yeah, this next this about. next clip is a really good <laughs> clip. This is the, this one's funny. This is about the cheese sandwich. This is uh, <laughs> this is fucking classy. All right, Doug, don't laugh too hard. Let this play through so people can hear this cheese sandwich bit. Hey, hey Doug, I'm, just I'm, mute your mic. I was just getting ready to say I'm gonna mute because I I was Sorry. fucking dying when it, when he when he said it. I was like, oh my god, what in the shit. Sorry. So. I just saw Jason's other comment. <laughs> Dude, it's the comments. It really is. Yeah, so so here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. All right. I didn't see the newspaper today. Can you tell me what today is? Wednesday. Mm-hmm. April 7th. Hey, Eric. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Thank you. Did your wife pack your lunch? She did. Did you pack your favorite? Not today. Oh, <laughs> what did you do for me? <laughs> what did I was she do? Oh, that would explain it. What did she pack you instead then? What was that noise? Well, it's probably a chair speaking over there, I'm guessing. What did she pack you today? A cheese sandwich. Yep. I, it. Mm, I understand. She packed I hate it. Too. That she did. You know you're in the doghouse then, okay. I didn't know ghosts like fucking hated cheese sandwiches, but evidently that one does. Uh, cheese sandwiches. I hate it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm like, wow, what, I, dude, I was I was actually over there fucking snickering when that happened. He's like, uh, what did you have? What's she packing for me? <laughs> a cheese sandwich. Cheese I hate it. I'm like, <laughs> this kid is going to a whole new level, dude. <laughs> I gotta I, I gotta go to the Enfield Demon House. They just keep putting like one to three word comments, and they're just yeah. so perfectly timed. They they're, are. <laughs> they're, they're my type of people. They really oh, are. Yeah, yeah, it's Jay, hilarious. Yeah, Jay, Jay's good people, man. If there's anybody oh, out there. Oh, my God. The Enfield uh, Demon House is a cool place to go, man. If you get a chance to uh, them out. But yeah, they're awesome people. <laughs> um, oh, I mean, wow. is, is everybody out there, like, listening to this and realizing this is, we're sitting through this shit. And it went on for <laughs> 45 <laughs> minutes, you know what I mean? Like, uh, this guy and, and Oprah Winfrey, uh, you know, fucking with the questions, and I'm like, what in the fuck, dude? And it just got worse as it went on. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> so, <laughs> stop calling her. Please stop calling her fucking Oprah. <laughs> We're gonna have to do a part two tonight because Doug's gonna laugh for half of it. We're not gonna get through it. <laughs> so, oh my I'm god! Sure, I'm sure he's gonna no, do his podcast so, and be like, "Oh, start video. Oh my god. I'm sure he's gonna see the podcast and be like, "I didn't, I didn't do any of that kind of stuff, man." Yeah, you did. You're a douchebag. You did, it. you did it, and you got called out on it. You're getting called out on it again and again and again. <laughs> uh, yeah, and apparently from the comments, uh, it's been going on for a while. Yeah, wow. it seems like it's been going on for a long time. So yeah, I, I saw, I saw three years ago was the farthest distance. I oh, this yeah. started three years ago. So wow. So th this next clip, I just labeled it the bullshit thickens. So here we go. <laughs> I do. Do you hear me when I speak back to you? I don't hear you. I'm in such a rush. I'll try to listen harder, though. 
Who the fuck is that? I Amy. acknowledge you when I'm near you. And I acknowledge you back Thank because you. we share a space. I appreciate that. Two <laughs> times. Oh my god. <laughs> I do realize we're in two different times. That is correct. I was afraid to mention that. I didn't want to be rude or you. <laughs> didn't want to do that. <laughs> Yeah, dude, we were sitting through this shit. <laughs> we sat through this. Just so oh everybody knows, God. Doug was not there, and Tom, you weren't even out of town. But, yeah, I know, yeah. I missed but, out. But, <sighs> Tom, you've heard some of these clips, right? Huh? You've heard some of these clips, right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is Doug's first time ever hearing this, which is why it makes oh, sense. Oh, fuck. So He's never heard any oh of it. Oh my god! I just told oh him god. about it. I just told him about it in person, and like, oh my what god. happened? So this is his oh very god. first time hearing yeah. this shit. Dude, I got oh two. god! I swear to God, wait, I got two. Wait, wait. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Two men back. Okay, I've been saying this. I've been saying it's like bad high school drama, bad high school theater. That's exactly right. Yeah. You said, else is saying that too. you said it before we even started. Earlier. I know. Yeah. So, right. It was funny. Yeah, I mean, you got to make a joke of it because if you're in person with the guy, you want to fucking strangle him, dude. I was just, I wanted yeah. to get up and like put him in a sleeper hole and just put him to sleep, dude. I was like, dude, dude, this reminds me of every Taylor Swift song out there. It's oh fun. man, yeah. Okay, yeah, time out. Let's not do that. Let's keep keep it. Keep let's let's keep, yeah. Stay on the rails, guys. Yeah. Keep it on the rails. Great. Now you're gonna have the Swifties attacking us. No, <laughs> yeah. no, keep it on the rails. <laughs> yeah. No Swifties in the paranormal, please. Right. Let's get enough of the football. Right. Jesus Christ. I'm trying, people. I'm trying. I'm trying. I swear. I swear we're going to get back on track. It's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen while so, I'm like catching his breath. So, oh, my God. You know, it, it, I don't have too many more clips left because I didn't want to keep dragging it on and on and on. But I, I'm going to play some of the ones where you had mentioned that. You had seen a, a little black kid in the basement, uh, like a slave or something, down mm -hmm. in the basement. Yeah. So they referenced this, and, and I don't think they knew about it unless you brought you probably told him about it because he was probably feeding off all the shit that you had told him in the past. I'm sure. Probably. That's what right. it, that's what it sounded like to me. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, and, and she's like, "Can you see through Tony's eyes?" And he's like, "No." But later on, I think he like sees the cat or or he sees the little kid or something. It, it's fucking retarded. But uh, I'm going to play some more clips here. Mr. B still floats around from time to time? Occasionally, bellowing from the, from the shop. I figured an old man of his name escapes me. Old Man Johnson, is it? Old Man Johnson. That's it. Old Man so Johnson. Yeah, who the fuck's old man Johnson? Yeah, do you see a cat? Yeah. Sorry, Dad. No, the prints that I find on my papers were definitely little hand prints. Right. No, I understand, but to my left, maybe I don't know, ten feet. There's a cat over there right now. That's it, to your right, my left, correct. There is a cat. Okay, well, at least it's not bothering you. He doesn't see a cat. <laughs> fucking cat, like, rubs up against your fucking leg and everything else, but he doesn't see a cat. Hold on, did he move the chair earlier? <laughs> this is insane, dude. Oh, man. God. <clears throat> Too bad, man. So here, here, here's another clip with Oprah. She's she's going on to more interviewing the, the spirit Thomas. So. Can you see things through Tony's eyes too? No, ma'am. You just see them through your own. Yes, ma'am. And you do realize I'm walking a different plane than you are, a different time than you are. That is correct. I was so afraid of offending you. Thank you for telling me that. You know that we have a communication skill that is on a friendly basis. I do. 
I'm sorry. Are you people what? hearing this fucking dialogue? Oh, God. Oh, God. Damn it. So Damn. Wow. Wow. I'm so sorry. Oh. That's why I laughed. Jesus. In comment. Oh. I was, I was trying, man. I was trying not to laugh. I, I can't believe it. It, it oh, was God. so perfect every Rich. time. You know what, Rich? John mentioned it before we went out here. I'm telling oh, you, man. God. This is this is the shit you have to put up with in the paranormal field. Like this retarded shit right here. This is beyond. Is no one. Here, dude. Oh, no one. Johnson it's, 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 has ever been associated with that building. Yeah, I pulled. We went before we ever investigated the first time. We went and met with the Historical Society of PA. We went with the Lancaster County. We went to the historians in um, Columbia, Pennsylvania, where it is. What's and, online? And we pulled everything that we could. We got bank statements from when it was a bank of who was there, former deeds, like you name it. We pulled it all, and there was never Johnson. You know, it's funny is uh, when he first starts out, he says the, the date's like April 17th. It's a Wednesday. He's correct on that. So he did his little dil diligence of going online and checking, going back into history and checking that. But he fucked up on the weather. He said it was raining that day. I went into the weather that day in Pennsylvania, and it was sunny and no rain. So I guess Thomas <laughs> wasn't a good weather man. So you know, I'm like, this fucking guy. Dude, oh, wait, like, didn't, he, didn't he say he he, wow. he rode his bike through the weather? Like yeah, the he rode it through the rain and got his... <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, I, I fucking remember this now. Yeah, I played it. It was in the clip. It was in the clip. Just Doug was laughing real fucking hard. <laughs> I was like, Wait a I'm to, look, I'm trying to laugh silently. <laughs> you got to give yeah. me a back. You just, when you play a clip, just mute Doug because we know he's. I'll, mute, I'll, mute, my, I'll mute myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, so. Oh, my God. He just says he can't see through his, uh, Tony's eyes, which is his own fucking eyes. Uh, he can't see through them because he's over there doing all kinds of goofy shit. And uh, <laughs> a rain on his parade, yeah. So he, he's talking about the little, uh, the little kids, and uh, she talks about the little kid and the cookies, and uh, it's it's fucking retarded, man. So I'm gonna play some more. Uh, this is one of the clips with the little boy. I was doing that on purpose, by the way, too. <laughs> if that was the wind and that little boy has the front door open of the shop, then you need to go close the front door. I can see the front door. It looks closed, and I brought him cookies to entertain him with. So go tell him to eat his cookies and not interrupt the adults talking. Could you kindly tell him if you brought him cookies? Yes. To go eat the cookies and leave my damn guys alone. Little one, <laughs> I'm asking nicely. There are cookies on the counter. Go get the cookies, go in the parlor and go eat the cookies and leave us be. And please don't mess with Mr. Thomas's guys anymore. Or else no more cookies for you. No more cookies for a ghost. No more cookies for a ghost. <laughs> Oh, oh Doug, Doug's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Doug, 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 Doug just straight oh, out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. I, I, hope, good. I, uh, I hope that the guy watches this and says, man, I was a real dickhead. I'm, I sound like a complete ass wipe. Because you are. And I hope he you, you you reads the comments. Yeah. Dude, I'm I trying you, so hard you not to read them while we're playing clips. I'm like, cover it. I, I don't want to see it. I know. Yeah. Wow. Don't wow. forget. Don't forget. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <man>. He's back. <laughs> I had I had to take my goddamn hoodie off because I was sweating to death, laughing so hard. Jeez. So I had to put a t-shirt on. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so here's here's another cookie clip. The ghost. The ghost. She brought cookies for the ghost, so the ghost will leave everybody alone. Uh, the little boy ghost. So here's here's another clip of the, the cookies that she references to. 
Here we go. Little one, gone. Into the parlor with you, gone. Or no more cookies, that's it. I mean what I say. She means what she says. <laughs> We're going to have to mute golly. Talk. We're going to have to mute Hi, talk. Golly. No, no, what happens for me is I laugh so hard, it's just silent. <laughs> I like to I have a mute dog, dude. Because I can't breathe. That's the oh, thing, I'm dude. I'm just like, yeah, naughty little boy. No more cookies for you. Oh, my God. But uh, now, oh. now, that you, now that you see this from this angle, Brandon, what do you think? Was that a whole load of shit or what? Well, I told you, and later on, I don't know how much you clipped, but, John, I told you I started asking questions that I knew the answers to that I had on EVP, and I told you they weren't matching up. Now, there was a couple things that matched up, but like you said, I also told you about a lot of the experiences I had, and then they were brought back up as you're playing a lot of stuff that I had happened to me. So. Exactly. Could be Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's totally crazy so he says in one clip he's like i don't hit little kids i'm, I'm just gonna play it it's funny though <laughs> doug mute now <laughs> i don't hit children i definitely can't hit something i don't see i don't hit children yeah earlier he said he couldn't see anything but now you know he, he said he could see things when he wasn't in tony but now you know He's seen him run through the shop earlier. All kinds of goofy shit. Here's, another, everybody. here's another clip, too. A little boy, a little urchin that messes with the machine. Do you see him now? I don't mean now, like, like the second, but do you see him now? Earlier, he ran through the shop, and I could have swore he took one of my screwdrivers and ran through You've seen him run through the shop and grab a fucking wrench. Come on. Can you tell me about him? Is he two foot? Is he three foot? Is he four foot? He's a little, little black boy. Yeah, it's was my There you go, Brandon. Thing. Thank you. About three, three and a half foot tall little fella. He's little, okay. Little fella. Little um, fella. Yeah, <laughs> earlier... He didn't see, couldn't see anything, but now he sees a little black boy run through the shop and grab a <laughs> wrench, of all things, grabs a wrench, you know. Uh, come on, I, dude. Actually, I think it was a screwdriver now, come on. Oh, yeah, screwdriver, sorry. <laughs> John, John when, oh. when when did we do that? Was it August? It was like, in September. It was September? Yeah. So, it was, it was a good time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was a good time. So here, here's another clip oh where, where the spirit tells time now, too. Spirits tell time, too. So here we go. We have time schedules. We have to get certain papers out by a certain time. And our customers demand perfection. What time is it now, please? Quarter after 12. Thank you. <laughs> Does the little boy have a name that you're aware of? I don't know a name yet. Was he a slave boy? That's one assumption that we have made, but I have no idea. Gotcha. He's <laughs> here one minute and gone the next. Mm, I'm guessing you appreciate the going more often. Yes. Is anybody else in here <clears throat> with your work? No. Beautiful. I like Oprah Rufus. She could be a good fucking TV oh, uh, oh, anchor. Me. There we go. Double <laughs> 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 Technical <laughs> difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm not hooked up to my damn earbud, earpod, earbuds. Fuck. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't mic you. I didn't uh, mute you. Hi, Michelle's family. <laughs> <laughs> she said. She said she hooked it up to the TV so everybody could watch. So, uh, <laughs> I just wanted them to feel a part of our our, our uh, stand up. Act. <laughs> so, so after about forty five minutes of this uh, charade of bullshit, um, it, enough was enough, and uh, Don asked. The uh, spirit, <clears throat> which was Tony, what time it was? I'll, I'll just play the clip because it's pretty funny. Don, Don gets gets pissed. He's like, "I'm ready to fucking get out of here." So here we go. Thomas, yes. Can you tell me what time it is? <laughs> A little after twelve thirty. Thank you. 
<laughs> you hear he's pissed. Somewhere to be. Yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> 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 is there a warning for anyone in particular about them in the basement or just a general warning? I know they're not meant to be, I'll say, trifled with. Who's here? No. No. <laughs> That's when he snaps out of his trance all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> She's like, no, no, no. Like, Dude, I, I thought he was going into that printing press though on the side. Oh there. man, he wasn't going anywhere. She was right there. Plus, he was bullshitting the whole time, dude. He wasn't. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll admit yeah. it, man. <clears throat> to the to the last clip, because I I guess I muted myself and then my freaking earbud stopped working. But how in the fuck can he be trans? Whatever he's doing, and then say <laughs> that's the assumption that we have made. About the little kid being a slave boy. Exactly. I mean, fucking really? <clears throat> what I yeah. want to know is, did, did Oprah Winfrey just blow in from Little House on the Prairie? Dude. I mean, my God. You, you urchin? I mean, <laughs> oh my God. Who talks like that? Dude. <laughs> She's Sally Jesse Raffle Jackass. <laughs> oh my God. She's a goofball, dude. The whole thing. Those two, man, they should have their own little uh, goofy it's good. Skit, like some kind of little skit on uh what's that one like a paranormal blunders or something like that's that kind of shit should be on there dude like oh yeah i don't i don't get it man i don't know but the the best the best was the end like we 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 you know we and i'm like we're getting the fuck out of here this is it you know we've had enough so we're packing up our gear and uh you know I think I think Brandon Brandon was with with him in the other room, and sends uh, Oprah Oprah out. And uh, she's not black, by the way. She's white, but she's you know she I guess she's like the talk show sure, host, we'll whatever. Yeah, she's white. Um, and <laughs> she's totally 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 squirrely. I just want to let you know it's not the real Oprah Winfrey. That you know, <laughs> just making a name. Oh, but. Um, so we're packing our shit. Here she comes. You know, me and Don are laughing the whole time about the whole situation. You know, we're just like, man, this guy's out of his fucking rocker, man. Let's get out of here, dude. I don't even want to see this guy again. So we're packing up our shit. She comes over. Tony would really like to talk to you about what happened back there. I think, yeah, that's not a good idea. She's like, yeah, yeah. He really wants to uh, explain everything of what happened. I'm like, this ain't going to be good. You know, and I looked over at Don. She walked away. Don's like, we're going to fucking let him have it, dude. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> all right fuck it you know what i mean i don't care dude it doesn't matter to me he's like he goes all right dude we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna let him have it i was like all right so we go in there and he goes so what'd you think of that that's like don just comes right out the fucking gate i didn't get a chance to say don anything. laughed don literally laughed and he's, he's like, like oh, i really want to hear about it yeah he's like dude <laughs> he goes that was a total crock of shit what you did back there <laughs> i was like you did it, Don. You went out the gate on that one. I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> dude, there was no easing in whatsoever. No, like, Don just no. went. He had, oh, he had no mercy on him, dude. <laughs> no mercy on him. Right, right, right. Boom. And then, and then he's like, oh, me, he goes, well, what do you, what do you think, John? I was like, I said, dude, I'll be honest, dude. Twenty-five years of paranormal investigating, I ain't never seen such ridiculous shit in all my life, dude. I said, That's um. I said, you I don't, expect us to believe that shit? Like, you, you really expect us to believe that? He goes, well, I don't do that in front of the clients. I'm like, well, why the fuck would you even do it, period, dude? Like, it doesn't even make any sense. But, you know, he contradicted himself there, too, because later on during this fight, he goes, well, I can, it's not like I can control it. So you don't sure. do it in front of the clients, but you can't control it. Yeah. Huh. How can yeah. you? Yeah, he totally, he totally contradicts himself throughout the whole spiel if i if i just played the whole thing continuous everybody would just be you'd be bored out of your mind because it was so fucking stupid it was unbelievable and yeah i mean we just we crushed this guy for like a fucking half an hour man like just killed him dude like in every way you could possibly kill somebody's fucking ego he was it was done and i was just like dude you do your fucking thing we're gonna do ours i said that ain't the kind of shit we do man like that shit is not cool at all and uh, we left, dude. And I've seen that. Well, I did see that clown like two weeks later at, at a, a Paracon. 
and uh, he wouldn't even like glance my way, dude. He he's fucking walking. I was like, <laughs> and they accidentally ended up parking right next to us. Too. Yeah, yeah, they're right <laughs> next to us. Oh, 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 you didn't come to that part. Oh, yeah, they parked. Yeah, right yeah. Right yeah. Next we go, yeah. we go rolling in. Right? I'm parked right, and then they come rolling in next to me. I'm like, oh my god, no, 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 no. Yeah. And well, they all come. I'm like, oh yeah, well, I parked over here. And I'm like, oh by the way. <laughs> Did yeah, they uh did they bring their five containers, six containers of shit that they fell on the table? I, dude, I didn't see him hardly the whole thing. I I, I got out and Thomas there. I said, There's that fucking dick we cussed out the other week, right there, dude. <laughs> where I was like, right there, that dick. The fucking he's looking yeah. over like and, and so we were at because it was a hell house and, and we were in the bar. That was our booth, right? Yeah. And the whole team, their whole team accidentally walked through and they're like, the He wasn't with them then. He no. didn't come through. No, he yeah. didn't come through. No, he didn't. Oh. I, I didn't see him at all the whole time. Oh, okay. I see him outside. Oh. Well, I, I saw didn't see him in there. Through. Yeah. Nice. I see a couple oh, of his members come cool. through, but I'm not oh. going to crucify his members. I'm going to crucify that chick and him. Exactly. Yeah. Those two are going to get crucified, man, because that's some mm-hmm. bullshit they did, you know? And mm-hmm. if they're doing that shit in, in residential homes with kids, families. Right. Exactly. Dude, that's all fucking wrong, dude. All it's wrong. not a, it's it's not a, they don't I mean I don't know that they do because I've never heard of them doing it but I don't know that they do residential I know they pay Good. to go to a lot of places but the problem is is that they're putting this shit out there for everybody to see like on right. TikTok I mean and YouTube live what the fuck you're no, just they, as bad you're just as bad as Ghost Adventures <clears throat> if they're putting this out there for everyone to see Exactly. That, they actually showed me uh, footage, Doug, when we were at Prospect Place, of uh, them at a haunted location. I mean, I don't really believe anything's haunted until I experience it. Um, but he uh, was at a residential case, and he was saying that there was a demon there. Hmm. So y'all can Whoa, go ahead and get it. Y'all can get a kick out of that one. Whoa, no, no, no. Look, 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 look what Christina just posted. They do residentials and scare clients. That's fucked up. Well, that's, that's messed what, up, dude. John, we talked about that. <laughs> now, now, now you're a predator. Now you're a predator. Yeah, that's fucked that's up. Foul. That's now foul. we we just talked about this, and this is like a side team. I went and helped uh, um, a family in PA, probably like the end of September, and did a residential. And they had a different team in, and this woman was so terrified. Like Doug will tell you, he did the interview with me on the phone. Like this lady was so terrified of like everything, like. I mean, it got to the point where, like, a bolt dropped, and this lady would, like, freak out and leave the house. Like, that's the oh type of God. shit, and that's why, like, I'm on this podcast is because you, you're you there to comfort them. You're there to yeah. tell them it's okay, not to make shit worse. Like, we, right. myself and Doug have been on, you know, bad cases, bad spirits, you know, and you still got to hide what happens there, and that's the shit you go outside and you talk about. And, and like, John, you had that case uh, in PA. You always said where you're, you know, you're taking a piss and you hear the thing in your ear like yeah you didn't, you didn't say that in front of the client you walked outside and you're like dude you ain't gonna believe this shit but like that's what dude, you do yeah. like it's a professionalism and exactly they don't have it they, don't have it. they really yeah, don't dude. you can't you can't go into a house making shit way worse than it already is you know what i mean like dude you're, you're here to help them you're not here to fucking scare the shit out of them right you know you're scaring them and <clears throat> wow I am. I'm just reading these comments of what what this guy has done. Jesus Christ! That should, is, we, should we uh, should we drop it? Should we drop his Wait. name now or later? I, okay, I mean, uh, hold on, hold I on, think... hold on. Dave is actually asking. Please forward me the information. So I think John, you should just let the cat out of the bag. Do it. You won't do uh, it. It's like I'm oh, do, you want, do you want to do you want to do it with the uh, the you want to do it with the picture with the audio? Deep. Yes. The, the picture <laughs> with yes with inner circle. Please. <laughs> yeah. Do so, it. Do it. So, so the do group's it. name is Interstate Paranormal. Everybody knows who these people are. That that's the group. The main co-founder, I guess that well, he stole the group, I think, from somebody else, but that's what I'm hearing. I don't know exactly about him. All I know is this is the shit we experienced with this guy, Tony, and this girl, Cindy. He's the founder. I don't know what she is to the group. Um, but this guy is a fucking fraud. Yeah. He's the fluffer. Yeah, she's she's uh, <laughs> Oprah Winfrey or whatever she is of the paranormal, but uh, yeah. these people are frauds, and uh, I'm not saying the whole team, but I'm saying those two are. 
you know, I don't know his team members, but I know I experienced the shit. I was there. Brandon was there. Don was there. We all experienced the shit. And then these guys experienced another faking event at a, an investigation they were on with them. And I'm going to play the video, and you're going to see the video of this guy fucking faking shit because uh, he's faking it. I was going to say, myself and Doug were there. We'll break it down on what exactly happened with all that. <laughs> we'll get there, Shannon. And then I just want to say the other places we investigated, which was Wildwood and Prospect Place, which you'll end up seeing a video, both times that he channeled, we were all kicked out of the room. The people that were in my, you know, my team that went, we weren't allowed to see it. And Doug will tell you every single time they're like, get out, go downstairs, go away. Like they would not let us see it. So John, that was the first time that shit ever happened for me because like, I've always been kicked out, and I guess this is why I'm kicked out, because we would have called it bullshit. You know, we've been doing it long enough where it's like, come on, man. Like, there's just shit that doesn't make sense. And like I said, the trigger questions I asked as uh, Samuel Miller, like, we have an EVP where it says that to or Doug looks like Thomas's dad. Uh, so when I asked that when we were there. No, I remind him of his father. Yeah. So when I say it at Samuel Miller the night we're there, John. Tony says, no, he doesn't remind me of my dad. Well, then yeah. what the hell are you talking about? Because we've got it on recording. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. I actually had I had the clip queued up, but I took it off there for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, wow. here, here, here's the video that Brandon and uh, Doug captured with this guy oh, faking God. it. At, uh, oh. Hey, I'll That's be right back. I'm going to go get a drink real fast. All right. Well, I won't play it until you come back then. Uh, you're good. You're good. Go ahead. You sure? Yeah. All right. So here's here's the video, and I'll play it multiple times so you guys can see it. But it, you can see how the ridiculousness of this is. So here we go. Would somebody like to read a list of like maybe eight or ten different old times weeks and go down a list and see if we get a positive answer before we leave? Teddy Bear. Jacks. Marbles. You scared the fuck out of me. I'm not going to move. Somebody's trying to lay it over here because I got tapped on the shoulder. Marble. It's a marble. It's a marble. It's a freaking <laughs> marble. marble. See, where the marble come from? Uh, you see? Yeah. Look, right here. I'm not moving. Where, where did the marble come from? I, no I am I not head moving, head. and I'm I'm a little shook right now. Where, Dude, I jumped. Right no, my Did somebody got a picture of that marble. I have it on my camera right now. Good. Where was a marble by any chance? There was no marble. Why would there be a marble in the chapel? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Is there a marble somewhere else in the house that you guys saw? You were sitting right next to me. And you can All see right. right there. You can see right there. He's you're sitting right next to me. Come on, so man. hold on. She said, Oprah Winfrey said, and I quote, Why would there be a marble in the chapel? So we're investigating this place. It's called the chapel. I'm reciting the Lord's Prayer. I'm trying to get any kind of activity happening whatsoever. Um, because we're in the chapel. All of a sudden, he says, Let's start naming toys the old time toys well what the fuck are we naming toys for if we're in a chapel that's my first thought okay i'll go <laughs> along with the game so started naming them as soon as i fucking said marble a fucking <clears throat> marble hit the floor and rolled under his chair and landed on the right hand side of me and what's crazy is on my video, you can actually boost the audio and hear him fidgeting in his pocket when I say marble. He's fidgeting in his pocket, and then the marble hits the floor and rolls. So bad, dude. So bad. And I'll play that clip again for everybody so you can see what kind of bullshit this guy is on. Um I don't know if you if you're a real paranormal investigator, this kind of shit don't happen like that. I don't care. <laughs> it just fucking doesn't. 
You know, if you see something or catch something, it's very rare you get it on video, man. Like, every time this guy goes into a place, he's fucking getting tapped on, touched on. <laughs> Sorry, fucking, Michelle. Getting his ass rubbed on. I don't know. He's fucking weird, man. But he's definitely not. He's a fraud, 100%. So I'm going to play that clip again. And I'm glad these guys caught, caught his ass because, and they're going to go into more detail about the marble. So I'm going to play this clip again for you guys. Would somebody like to read a list of like maybe eight or ten different old time tools and go down the list and see if we get a positive answer before we leave? Teddy bear. Jacks. Marbles. Scared the fuck out of me. I'm not going to move. Somebody's trying to lay it over here because I got tapped on the shoulder. Marble. It's a marble. It's a marble. It's a freaking <laughs> marble. marble. Dude, where'd the marble come from? Do you see? Yeah. Look, right here. I'm not moving. Where, where'd the marble come from? I, no I am not moving, and I'm I'm a little shook right now. Where, Dude, I jumped. Yeah, my somebody got a picture of that marble. I have it on my camera right now. Good. Where was a marble by any chance? There was no marble. Why would there be a marble in the chapel? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Is there a marble somewhere else in the house? So you were marble. sitting right next to me. He got tapped again too. So, put the, oh, yeah, tap. <laughs> so I just want to say real quick: oh, yeah. if nobody's been to Prospect Place, that room that we're sitting in was the room that was the wake room. Where they held all the family wakes. You know the kids were running in the hallway. They're not going to be sitting in there being bored as hell. So mm -hmm. where the hell did the toy thing come from? Like I I've always yeah. thought that. And then yeah. two, I know John, you got the whole video and we trimmed it down so nobody was watching an hour. But you can attest, I searched everywhere and doug was there i yeah. searched everywhere i opened every cabinet i opened i mean i was looking on the fireplace inside of the toys that were sitting there. like you name it i searched it Jason, and i'm like well, and i'm like right. dude there's a fucking marble like there has to be marble somewhere on this floor i go into all the other rooms still can't yep. find a marble i'm like all right this shit's fishy jason yeah. that is my camera work number one <laughs> and it's <laughs> one of the very first things that um I said to Brandon when we got done filming because I didn't know how to film. So yes, I did need to work all my footage and I got it going I mean, pretty good now. That's pretty that's well played though, Jason. That was a, uh, yeah. So tell oh. everybody, so tell everybody what happened the next day when you guys were in the, the Airbnb. You want to tell oh, them? Doug? You want yeah. Me? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Go <So>, ahead. <laughs> uh, my wife, I took her on, this was her very first investigation ever, two-night investigation. So we're staying at an Airbnb, so on and so forth. This is the, I mean, we're packing up the leave. My wife looks at me and she says, is that a marble on the, on the countertop by the sink? And I said, you're fucking shitting me. Well, the marble that got dropped was a green, almost like cat's eye marble. The fucking yeah. one that's on the counter is an orange cat's eye marble. So when I mention the marble, Cindy says, I brought marbles so the kids could play with them at Prospect Place. There it is. And she had a bag, like she showed us, she had a bag full of them. And they were all the same style, but majority of them were green, Doug. You got to admit, most of them were green marble. Oh, they, my God. They had some orange, but they were mostly green. And the Fuck worst you. part is, it's Kim's first investigation, and they walk out of the room before we do, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> and Kim literally looks at me and Doug, and she goes, they dropped that fucking like, Like, she <laughs> called it, like, on the fucking spot. For somebody to never yeah. be there and call it out, like, come on, man. Like, yeah. Yep. Better as, as, wow. as a matter of fact, there's a question in here. Iris, yes, he did do the Estes method. It's on a video that I we have on YouTube. My wife did her very first, like I said, investigation. So her thing, because she saw Amy and Adam do it, was she wanted to try the Estes method. Okay, absolutely. I'm not going to deny you from doing that. So literally, we go into a room. 
and I wish I would have done it a little bit different. However, <laughs> my wife got some really, really good evidence to questions that were being asked, but then had a kind of like a breakdown. And you can see it in the video. Well, then Tony jumps right in behind her and starts doing his session. But then something very prevalent at the very end happens that is 100%, in my opinion, paranormal activity that I caught on camera. So if you want to see some more fraudulent stuff, you can go to our YouTube and watch that. John, you uh, you've seen that video, the the thing that Doug caught that like I'll just say flies in the screen. I mean, you you thought it was pretty paranormal, right? Or you were just like not sure either way. What the uh, that thing looks like a bird or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, I can't explain it. I don't want to give it too much away because if anybody wants to watch it, but yeah, I mean, it looks like a bird flies on the screen. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, that's about all I can say. Dave, Dave, I want to go get a cheese sandwich. And the thing and is, is that the, the people that are listening and watching this right now, what you don't understand is previous to this investigation, I had a major heart attack. And I was going through PTSD. I was alienating my entire family. I was angry. I was lashing out at everybody. The only person I could talk to was Brandon. I mean, it, it got bad for me. Um, I tried to seek a therapist out. She didn't help me. So I said, <laughs> fuck it. You know, I'm not paying $30 every time I go for somebody that can't fucking help me. Yeah. Go to, the, go to this investigation, have this happen. <clears throat> so now that everybody knows that I had a major heart attack, you'll kind of understand the sequence of events that happened during the Estes method that lead up to this point. That's all I'm going to say. All right. So what is your conclusion on interstate paranormal? Mine? Yeah. Fake as fuck. <laughs> See, I, feel like you I, say, I feel like you're holding back a little there, Doug. How do you really feel? <laughs> <laughs> you really don't I have no filter normally you really don't want me really? to do that really? <laughs> yeah. yeah all the times we talked in Fort Mifflin Tom never wants yeah. to pick that up <laughs> yeah really just, just now just now occurring to me yeah, yeah well Doug oh, Doug was the only person that's ever lit off fucking fireworks at the fucking Fort Mifflin so. <laughs> yeah it got great results I was like yeah oh, well, fireworks <laughs> next to an airport? Yeah. yeah. I, like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you I'm know like, what though? Okay, so the speakers the speaker experiment really turned out well too. Like John, you mentioned it playing that uh reenactment through the old fort. Like, that's that, pretty cool. That was, yeah, that was cool. That was really, yeah. really cool. I mean it really sounded like a fucking war was going on there was so loud. <laughs> I know like, what the fuck, dude. It sounds like a real I, war is going on. I'm <laughs> so sorry. I'm so sorry for your EVPs. <laughs> Just ahead of time. <laughs> I know that shit echoed through the casement. Oh, oh, yeah, it did. Oh, yeah, it did. I was in the real like, what the fuck? Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's, that's when. <laughs> we did yell, like, hey, it's coming, but, you know, we'll be yeah, sorry. Well. <laughs> so, so um, John, we've been getting all of these. <laughs> keep asking about cookies, man. I know, right? Uh, we've been asking. A lot of people are asking for the last name. So how would you like to reveal the last name? I don't know. He has a I, couple of them. So I think I think you should play the um, the, the, the picture, the, yeah, the the picture with the theme song. Yes. Okay, and then, so, and then we'll come back just to so watch everybody's reaction. Buckle so, up, everybody. Uh, yeah, so buckle up. Buckle so this guy, up. Uh, you know, not only is he a fake, but uh, he's got a little criminal past. So, and we Let's found just say this. he's got a history of being fake. Yeah, we we found this. Uh, we didn't find it. Someone uh, messaged me earlier and sent me this, that they went into a, an old newspaper article that they had to pay for, and uh, they paid for it for us to have it tonight on the show. So if you don't think this guy's a fucking fraud, this is going to sum it all up for you that he's full of shit. So here we go. What? 
Oh my god, Rich, you're my hero. <laughs> you are my hero, Rich. Merry fucking Christmas. There you go. Oh god, sorry. The comments oh. are just. I had to take that off. Fucking badge bunny. <laughs> wow. So now that everybody knows who he is, so would you please just say the last name too? I can't. I, don't, I can't. I don't care I can't it's it. hard to say. Yeah, it's like, so, okay. it's like it's like it's like Gorfalophagus or something. <laughs> yeah, shit like that. Yeah, I don't know. I can't, it, he goes by Tony. Okay. He goes by Tony Williams. He has a bunch of different like Facebook things. So you know, maybe he's watching right now. But if not, see it, Penhurst, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh there. believe me we're gonna see you there and them guys are gonna see you there too oh so. and there it is thanks rich hey, yeah. Yeah. don't worry if you're looking for us i'm sure AKA Tony. we'll either be at haps tent or they'll be at ours because we're definitely gonna bounce back and forth oh, That's yeah. it. Well, dude, do I really <laughs> i'm not bringing my pistol <laughs> yeah. i don't need yeah. it yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, I'll, man, just, that... I'll just call on my ancestors to infiltrate me and we'll yeah. battle it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you don't have to worry about oh, it anyway, yeah. man. He's going to be over in his tent like this with a internet state shirt on. <laughs> hey, you know what? We should all bring cheese sandwiches. Yeah. And marbles. <laughs> and marbles. And marbles. <laughs> yeah. Rich, can you please make Fuck that it. shirt? I will dude. buy it. Hold on. Fucking <laughs> buy it. Dude, dude, we have we to sell, sell them at the parent. <laughs> yes, we have to sell a bag of marbles in our fucking tent that say ghost hunting equipment. Fuck that. <laughs> Look, hey. Please do. Somebody make the shirt, the cheese sandwich shirt. The cheese sandwiches. I hate it. I'll, I'll take it, dude. We'll yes. have it up. Or just, yeah, like just, just cheese sandwiches and cookies. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Cheese sandwiches and cookies. God, man. My spirit says yours is full of shit. Yes. <laughs> and feel cheese <laughs> dick t shirts. <laughs> 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 a cheese sandwich like marbles and stuff on it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cheese yeah. sandwich oh my god. food truck, y'all. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, oh my god. so make sure. I laugh this hard. Oh so make sure you go over to their tent at Penhurst and get yourself an interstate shirt. Yeah. It's going to be lawless. You know, and everybody I had a marble. A marble. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Everybody should take marbles and just put it on their table. Table. Yeah. Oh my god. Do that. A marvel. Oh my god. Yeah. That's perfect, dude. That is oh, perfect. Oh my god. Wow. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, but, hey, I just want to um... say, I just want to say that uh, you know the folks here in the comments. I know that I haven't met a lot of you, so because I am, I am fairly new to this. So make sure you stop by and say hi at Penhurst. I'll be, we'll be there at the bash. Yeah. Absolutely. Come by if you're if you're in the area. March 9th, John and I are going to be talking <laughs> over in Gettysburg. Yeah. yeah. Benny, <laughs> dude, Benny, Benny is our oh, friend, he's our friend from Arizona that we investigated with every summer. He's literally nice. flying, he's flying in for the Paracon. For, All right, uh, for Penn All right, so. straight up, straight up. I so, oh my God, look, we need look, to find out who, oh who on this list that's in our comments <laughs> is going to be a vendor. We need to get a bag of marbles, and each one of the vendors that are in this chat right here tonight, put one <laughs> single marble on your table at the yes. Paracon. 
Make sure it's yes. Do, do it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm do telling it. you, all of us need to do that. Do it. Yes. Yes. And everybody come oh. say hi. Everybody come say yeah. hi. Too. We definitely yeah, want to meet people yeah. that we talk to. So. Yeah, this would be great. <laughs> so that was. Oh my god. Oh, that was that was oh. our episode of exposing a fraud. Yeah, dude, you're a fucking fraud. <laughs> you can twist it any way you want and tell people you ain't. And uh, but people, you just seen it. You just heard it. There it is. Boom. There it is. Merry Christmas. Wow. You just got a Christmas yep. present. You know, people, and there's going to be people that say, oh, those guys are full of shit and that. We're not full of shit. You want to listen to a phony and a fraud? Then go ahead. Knock your socks off. Get down that path with that goofball and, and have a good time. You know? You're going to sit in the dark with that goofball there impersonating a police officer. You're sitting in the dark with that fucking weirdo. There you go. Hey, officer friendly. Yeah. I'm Thomas. Not officer friendly. You know what? Why, why does it? Why does the guy have to be named Thomas of all people? I mean, my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! I like the one that comment about uh, making a, a raffle, and whoever finds the most marbles gets a, G, a cookie and a cheese sandwich. I'm so down. I oh my God! For it. Oh, we have to do this. Oh my God! Yeah, uh, I'm just, this is just a this is just a fair fucking warning to any paranormal people <laughs> that are out there. If you're if you're like this, if you're a fraud, and you come with some people like us that are real investigators, you're fucked, man. Uh, you're yeah. gonna get blasted on here. Oh, yep. yeah. you're you're yeah, done, we, dude. We should do this like yeah. every month. Every month we should do it. And just pick, <laughs> pick a new fraud that we know, even if it's, it's a, even month. if it's. A, even if it's a fucking famous celebrity, just go through it and be like, uh, here you go. No, 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 we're not. No, no, no. We're not. I'm out with celebrities. No, oh, come on. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to speak <laughs> on people that I, I don't know and I haven't experienced their bullshit, but if they're, if I'm with them and I experience something that they're frauding, uh, they're fucking yeah. done, dude. I'm going to pull yep. them out on this show and smash them. Every, I'm going to blast their ass across Perfect. here. Everywhere, Perfect. dude. Nice. So, know. so nice. Angel, Angel is listening to the podcast, one of our members, and she said, all of us should leave a bowl of marbles and you take one and go put it on their thing and see how many from each tent and get like a <laughs> get like, get like, get ours, like imprinted with an A, yours imprinted with an E, well, that's, and no, see that's how many you have. And then, she, she and then what I have is we should get a big thing. You know how like at like state fairs or like, you know, like kid events at schools and stuff, they have like, guess how many pieces of candy are here? Guess how many marbles are in the jar and raffle it off. No, yeah. no, uh, no. Because <laughs> remember, they're going to be inside. So I like that idea. However, let's make it a little bit better. Let's drop each individual marble around their table to see how many we can get around the table before they notice. <laughs> just throw it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, just drop it as yeah. you're walking by. It's going to be so loud they won't hear it. Oh my god! Oh, and <coughs> if you scroll back on the comments. Is it at Tuman back? Is a marble factory in town? He can make. He can get custom marbles made. I, I just like want it. green cat eyes. I like, it. I like it. it. Hey, so uh, I guess Steve Barry came in late. He said, "Okay, yeah. fill me in. I'm lost about the marbles." <laughs> you want to? Yeah, exactly. Do you, you want to uh, replay <clears throat> that part? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, anybody, that came, anybody that came late, this, is what, this was caught on uh, an investigation. Myself and Doug were at. Yeah, yeah. it's always worth watching again. Steve, this is um, Steve, this is uh, Pam Barry's husband, Steve Barry. Um, yeah, Steve, we can play this video for you. So just get ready for bad, idea, right? bad acting. Yeah. So here we go. This is the video that uh, above and below paranormal caught this guy being a fraud one. Boom. Would somebody like to read a list of like maybe eight or ten different old time tools and go down the list and see if we get a positive answer before we leave? Teddy Bear. I've always believed. Oh, it kicked out for some reason. Hold on. I'll play it again. Sorry, guys. No, no, I'm just. Would somebody like to read a list of like maybe eight or ten different old time tools and go down the list and see if we get a positive answer before we leave? Teddy Bear. Jacks. 
marbles. Yes, it did. I'm not going to move. Somebody's trying to lay it over here because I got tapped on the shoulder. Marble. It's a marble. It's a marble. It's a freaking marble. It's a marble. See, where did the marble come from? You see? Yeah. Look, right here. I'm not moving. Where did the marble come from? I know. I am not moving, and I'm I'm a little shook right now. Dude, I jumped. Yeah, Did somebody get a picture of that marble? I have it on my camera right now. Good. Where was a marble by any chance? There was no marble. Why would there be a marble in the chapel? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Is there a marble in the house that you guys saw? You were sitting right next to me. Yeah, dude, he definitely dropped that fucking marble without a doubt. Without a <sighs> doubt, he dropped it. Wow, man. That's crazy. That marble did scare the wow. shit out of you, though, Doug, when it hit the floor because I seen the camera jump. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me. You got to figure because we're in complete silence and it's pitch black in there. And then all of a sudden, this big fucking noise hits right next to me. And I felt the marble hit right next to my foot. And I tell you what, I about came up out of that chair. <laughs> yeah, now, now, how could you wow. say, you know, that that wasn't him? You know what I mean? You felt the marble. He was sitting right next to you. You know what I mean? Like, come on. And you know what's fu even funnier is one of them, was, I don't know if it was Oprah Winfrey or not, but she mentions that, you know, it's a marble and it's dark. You didn't even shine a camera on it yet or anything. Right. We had no flashlights on it at all. Yeah, it's, like, hey. it's a marble. So, like, uh, real fast to Steve. Steve, Doug is actually the one recording it. It's just when we're sitting there, it's literally Doug and Tony are sitting side by side. So, yeah, and I, 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 know, my, I know it's me and he's behind the camera, that, but I just want to That's hear, my hear camera that. you're seeing. So, yeah, I wasn't part of the fake marble incident. I was just videotaping, you know, our, our, our equipment for <laughs> us and our YouTube channel. And it just so happens that I was sitting right next to uh mr bad boys what you want what you gonna do <laughs> and i can play that clip again so everybody can read that news article that uh bam he's front and center baby boom not a good thing not a good yeah. thing i don't know if you've seen the video oh, steve yeah, uh you saved steve and pam but uh i got a, i got a nice little clip there if you if you haven't seen it let me know and i'll play it for you Think you'll get a good kick out of it. I did. <laughs> I, think, I think we all did. <laughs> and what's funny about what's funny about that, Stephen, is the convenience of the security camera for Prospect Place was actually taken down out of that room. If it was left up, it would have completely had him in camera doing that. Seriously. Yep. Wow. Wow. Yeah, and Steve, you I weren't here. Yet. Steve, you weren't yeah. here for it, but I'll I'll just say it again real fast. I got up and I checked the whole floor we were on for a marble. Never found one. We get up for breakfast the next morning and we're leaving the Airbnb. And um and they had a marble that looked just like that there. And one of the, the lady Cindy says, Oh, I brought marbles for the kids to play with uh, at Prospect Place and she pulled out a bag and the marble that fell there was one that looked identical in her bag. She had like 40 of them, 50 of them in this bag. So, you know. Terrible, man. It's Nobody terrible. knows who took the camera down. Yeah. <clears throat> Jesus, I'm bringing marbles to the Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, Steve oh, said, who, who, who took the camera down? I, I don't know. Who you know we don't have, we have no idea. Clue. They had, before myself, Doug, and his wife went up, because that was, like, the three from, like, my team, so to speak, they sent someone else up, their group of people up together. So, like, five or six of their investigators. So it could have been one of them. It may have been the police themselves. We, we, you know, we really don't know, but it is odd that where that's just, going and it's not that. I don't foresee the place doing it because they had so much <laughs> historical stuff in there. I they even have a letter written by Abraham Lincoln. It's ink and paper. It's his handwriting. They have it behind a glass case. 
<clears throat> why would you take your cameras down if you have something like that in there? Exactly. Um, Did you guys see uh, Steve? What are you saying? Build a track about the marble race. I'm all for it. I, I'm loving this. I'm, 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 so, loving idea. I'm so sad I can't vend at the bash because I have my kids. But I told John I'm gonna come up and hang out with you guys uh, one of the days. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna come up and hang oh, out. Yeah. You know, oh, I'll yeah. just I'll sit at your tent. Hey, I'm part of Haps today. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna yeah. be speaking. We're gonna be speaking at the bash this year, presenting some of yeah. our evidence and shit. So you have to let me know when you. That way it's I know. On, uh, it's on that Friday. It's on that Friday. Friday. Yeah, yeah, I'll be. I'll probably come up Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, we're speaking on Friday, I believe. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm wow. It was it was him who suggested naming the old the children's toys right Another, before this uh, happened. But yeah. you have to you have to understand the room that we're in is the chapel. That's where they held you know the funerals and the wakes for the for the family members who died. So why would we we be naming old time toys in a chapel? Number one. <clears throat> But I just went with it. Okay, no big deal. Whatever. Let's try to spark some activity. And then all hell broke loose. You know, and what else happened there? And you, we never got it on camera because we were actually truly investigating. Um, oh, the rose. The, we're up on the second floor in the sick bay. <clears throat> and, you know, they had a little room at Prospect Place for anybody that doesn't know. If they were passing, they took them to the sick bay and that's where they would... You know, had the sunlight come in, and it was it was a nice little area, but it was small. And everybody's like, "Hey, did you guys like move something?" And we're like, what "The hell are you talking about?" Well, they said this rose moved from one of the rooms that was in. It was like a fake rose that was like in a jar. Um, it moved from there and was laying on the step. And we're like, we didn't even. Me and Doug literally did not see any fucking roses. We, like, did not know until they purposely pointed out where this room was that had them. And, we're, and like, again, myself and Doug just looked at each other. We're like, here we go. There's shit's moving again. And it's, and like, it's not on camera. Right. Again. Yeah. Come on, man. Again. Like, <clears throat> I was born at night, but it sure in the hell wasn't wow. last night. Right. Yeah, dude. Wow. wow. Yeah, he was just setting it up. You know what I mean? He was setting that up, the whole thing up when he, when he said about the toys. You know, he's just setting it up to drop that fucking marble, dude. You know, that's that's his whole name, man. When you're naming old time toys, of course, I'm teddy bear. You know, you got baby dolls, you got rocking horses. Those are all yeah. the things that I said along the way. Then I bring up jacks, and then the next one is marbles. <laughs> you knew marbles was going to come out somewhere, and yeah. sure enough, there it is. <laughs> Jeez, <Wow. man. laughs> Angel said, <laughs> "Angel just said, hey, you gonna bring up the GoFundMe?'" <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was in a bad car accident or something and flipped over, and uh, they're trying to do a GoFundMe for him or some shit. But man, I wouldn't you give know, that guy nothing. I'm just saying, my mama always said, and yes, I sound like fucking a water boy right now, but my mom <laughs> always said, "God don't like ugly." And you know what? <laughs> Shit came back to get him. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, uh, John, uh, Rich said he just sent you a T-shirt. Oh, mm. shit. He said he already made one. Post a picture. Post. <laughs> oh, here no. we go. He denied his medical insurance from work because it was too expensive. <clears throat> oh, 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 look, your mom's Oh, the my mom's on the chat. Oh, oh, hi, get the, the high moms. <laughs> hi, mom. mom. <laughs> oh my god, dude! The cheese sandwich is hilarious. <laughs> Thanks, Rich. <laughs> can we get? Can we make them and like we wear? Look, like, check it out. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. Oh, <laughs> I can't mean, see it. Kind of see it. Yeah, can't, can't see it. Sort of. Yeah, uh, kind of. Can we wear them on Saturday for Penhurst? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm I'm getting a Green Bay cheese head. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, now you all know that this guy is a uh, a complete fraud and uh, put a warning out about him. You know what I mean? If you see him somewhere, steer clear from him and let that location know that guy is a fraud, man. And uh, yep. 
criminal yeah. record. He's got all that good shit, man. He's got the good stuff, you know. <laughs> impersonating a yeah. police officer, impersonating a paranormal investigator. Fuck, he impersonates <laughs> everything, man. Thomas, can't <laughs> forget he impersonated Thomas. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, don't, yeah. The only thing he hasn't impersonated yet is a turd, which is what he is is a turd. So. <laughs> you know? Oh, by the way, not to change the subject or anything, but I watched Nefarious. Oh, did you watch oh. it? Yeah, we watched it, it last, it weekend. last the, weekend. It was the best fucking movie I have ever seen in my entire life when it comes to yep. that topic. Yep. Oh, my God. It was, dude. It was awesome. It's one like, of the I best movies. I literally Gina. got goosebumps talking about it because it I'm was so good. like I'm so into that movie now. It's my ultimate favorite. Yeah, it's great. I've watched it. I don't know, probably a hundred times already, dude. I love it. It's really, it's, it's really, it's really a fucking great movie, man. If anybody hasn't seen Nefarious, and uh, you know, if you really, it, it's 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 about demonic possession, but it's on a way different level. It's on a level that I think. If you're going to experience experience something demonic, this is how it's going to be. It's not going to be, you know, heads spinning around, people walking up the walls. It's going to attack you psychologically, and that's exactly what happens in this movie is it's attacking this psychiatrist uh, psychologically in every way, and uh, it's it's a great-ass movie. You watch it, you're going to be like, holy fuck, this guy is spitting some truth, man. But it's the kind of guy, it's a demon. But he's... Oh, he's... Um, the guy that they got to play the inmate that is possessed is the best actor I've ever seen in my entire life because of the facial features that he makes when he goes into the character. And then when he comes out of the character, like totally different facial features and able to talk in a completely different voice. I mean, kind of like Tony, but not really like Tony. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) So, it was just I, yeah. That's I a great movie. Say enough about it. I really can't. Yeah, that's a great movie. <laughs> it really it was. Just... We we sat down and we watched it, and uh, we were just like, "Damn!" Like this acting. Like the first thing we literally said is that dude acting was like on point. Mm-hmm. Like it really yeah, was. Like true. that was the first thing. Yep, yeah. it's money, man. I mean, it's yeah, it is. If you're gonna come across something really demonic, this is how it's gonna be. And um, I watched a documentary with a a psychiatrist that. Uh, was interviewing a woman that was possessed by the, the Catholic Church. They said, man, this woman's possessed. We need you to interview her. You know, we think she's possessed. We want you to make sure, come in and see if she's not, you know, psychotic or, or having mental disabilities. So, <laughs> dude, the night before shit starts to happen, you know, before he goes to meet this girl, uh, weird shit happens in his apartment. His fucking cats go ballistic throughout the apartment, doing just, just going totally fucking ape shit in the house, tearing up the house. So the next day he goes and sees this woman. And uh, before it even gets started, she said, how'd you like the cats last night? That would freak me out, dude. I'd be like, how in the fuck did she know there was cats? Did the cats tore up my apartment? And she knew it. She's like, how'd you like the cats last night? And it happened at like 3 a.m. too, like a, like the witching hours, allegedly. Right, everything else, yeah. Yeah, but... Weird shit, dude. Like, if someone said that to you, and only you would know that, how the fuck would she know that? You know what I mean? Like, that doesn't even make any sense. It was like, oh, wow. And, and he said this thing would attack, was trying to attack him psychologically. It was it was crazy, man. It just reminded me of Nefarious. It was like, this is a cool-ass movie, man. Like, this is probably one of the best movies I've seen with demonic possession ever. You know? I mean, The Exorcist is, is scary, but it's not believable. You know what I mean? Like, it's creepy as fuck if you watch it, but it's not believable, you know? Yeah, that movie Nefarious, and... that movie Nefarious, I could absolutely see something like that 100% happening. Yeah, definitely. definitely. <clears throat> I definitely hope everybody liked this episode of Exposing the Fraud. You know, we're still going to stay on here and do some <laughs> uh, paranormal talking, but uh, I hope you all enjoyed that Uh Exposing. Hey, go, go to our go to our page. Go to our Facebook page and like our our page. Yeah, go to our uh, YouTube channel and uh, like our YouTube channel. Just for subscribe yeah. to it because if uh, we come across any more phones, you're gonna see them on here. That's for damn sure. Yeah, we're gonna blast hey, hey, their right. ass. Yeah. I mean, right. let me add them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you're welcome, Christina. 
<laughs> I thought I called Putty Ted. <laughs> I'm glad Chargers doing better. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, man, this was a good this was a good one, man. But uh, I think I think uh I'm gonna I'll, I'll let everybody if they're gonna start bailing out on us. Yeah. I hope they don't, but we're gonna stay around for a little while. But um yeah. I definitely wanna hit them, you know, one more time with this right here. So <laughs> Never, this just never stops being funny. Oh, oh right, God. it's great. It's great when people fuck up in life, and uh, you know, then they keep fucking up in life, and then they yeah. try to do their fuck ups on everybody else, and they get called out on it. Can yeah. You, yeah. Can you send Brandon that? Just that. I need to put a disclaimer at the beginning of our YouTube video, just so it says, "Don't trust this guy." <laughs> but you. <laughs> Just well, like, know. hold on. Go ahead. Just, just like Biden, don't believe a word he says. <laughs> well, you know, that's. Oh, I just want to say, you know, you said don't trust him and stuff like this, and you know, John, we're we're good friends. I mean, you've talked about helping each other on cases. You know, if, if you have too many cases, switch, you know, giving us one, et cetera, You know, helping out. I just want to tell everybody that's here and who's listening. Do your research on the teams, and don't be afraid to tell them no. There is other teams that go help. I mean, John, you've gone, what, eight hours away to help people? Shit, yeah, further than that. Yeah, I mean, myself and Doug were in Indiana helping people. You know, like, we'll make the trip if you really need it, but do your research and look for the right team. Uh, Like, Gina's team is in, or Gina's in here. She runs Empirical Paranormal up in New York. You know, if you're in New York and need help, reach out to them. They're a TAPS family member just like John is. You know, do your research and pick the right team that suits you. Even if I'm the wrong team and you don't like me, pick another team. It's fine. Like, it's not going to hurt my feelings. Just please get the right help. God, I love Rich. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah you, get a, you get a goofball like that in your house, and, man, it could be disastrous for you. I mean, that's – Yeah. Jesus and, Christ, man. And that's the main reason why everybody on in a TAPS family, like ourselves, we all do background checks on all our members, and us? Brandon does it yep. as well. So, you know, yeah. if, if they can't produce a background check when they're members, dump them, dude. Dump them yeah. quick. Yeah. We, we we made a binder. We literally have background check, and I made a copy of everybody's license. So that way, you know, because background checks don't have a picture. I'm like, here you go. Like, here's a picture. Here's this. And, you know, mm-hmm. I have nothing to hide. I mean, I can't talk about it too much, but, Tom, you know, if John wants to tell you later, you know, we were contacted by a government agency in Maryland about coming and uh, checking out a couple places here. And you know that's oh. one of the that's one of the first things they said was uh, we need to we need to know all the information on your team because they yeah. have you know in some of these buildings they have historic artifacts. Why would you oh. leave me in there in the dark alone if you don't know who I am or why you trust me? You know, just like you guys sure. been there like a whole town. You know, you build up that oh. reputation. I yeah. also for, I also forgot to uh, mention, um, and I didn't sign a non disclosure agreement, so. Um, I'm just letting everybody know that our wonderful fraudulent friend <laughs> is going to be on TV. My TV. haunted ma- my haunted manner is coming to TV and he's going to be on TV. 
<laughs> hey, it's, it's a YouTube series, okay? It's very serious. Oh yeah, that's not TV. That's just YouTube. yeah, that's not TV. <laughs> hey, hey, he's got he's got a celebrity there. <laughs> I I play I play it on my seventy inch. It's a TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I can play it on my phone. It could be a TV show, but it ain't a TV show. <laughs> it ain't, it ain't no network picking that shit up. That's for sure. You know, whatever. You know, if that if they want to hang around with that fucking loser, go ahead, man. Oh, how did he know what? that he's fucking? How did Michelle know that he's fucking Daryl? I mean, <laughs> that he's up Daryl's ass. <laughs> Wow! Damn! Damn! Man, you threw that one in there. Good lord! Wow. Nuh uh, nuh uh. Tony did. He, he slid that. Yes. Whoa! Wow! Hey. You threw that one in there. No KY. Wow! I was gonna Damn. say, if there's a chance, you know, wow. you're gonna take it. Wow! <laughs> Man. You sent that in there like a like a hot tamale. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> oh, that's bad, dude. That's just, day, like man. just like a twelve-inch black dildo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if, if you're gonna around with those kind of people, man, that's bad news, man. Bad yeah. news, dude. <laughs> bad news. Too bad, dude. Hey, John, it was really good doing this. I'll see you in a month when your band gets pulled. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? We'll oh, be back for part two. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, I got Doug to thank for that. Thanks, Doug. Yeah, right. Hold on. You're the one that said retard earlier. <laughs> yeah. Politically correct? There's retards out here. He's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> yeah, Rich, it sure did take a turn. <laughs> Rich, Rich, you can come hang out with us anytime, buddy. The oh, door is open. This is yeah, not. This is literally us wow. while we investigate. Like this was us at Fort One hundred percent, Jason. The corn husk is still on it. Oh, <laughs> oh man, it's oh. ribbed for his pleasure. <laughs> 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 oh, oh man! Damn, that's going, that's going a little. That's going a little deep. Wow. That brings, wow. Yeah, so that, that brings a whole new. That brings a whole new meaning to corn coming out the other end. Yeah. <laughs> that's nasty. Man. Wow! Oh, wow! Oh wow! Dude. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is I'm not walking on a twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bad timing. <laughs> no, wow. <yeah. laughs> I yeah, imagine. Yeah, two oh, that's what she said, yeah. <laughs> oh, I wish oh, I could get God. this many people in here all the time. I need to get this know, right? to a <laughs> podcast of fucking frogs and smash oh, them. Oh, my God. <laughs> Frozen <and> dildos. <laughs> oh, you got. So, sorry, Alabama. Didn't mean to. Talk, didn't mean to be walking on that. <laughs> so let's see. We have marbles, cheese sandwiches, and cookies, dildos, cookies, cookies. and dildos. <laughs> yeah. the only thing, the, hold on. Yes, the only thing we're missing is Richard Gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Isn't oh, that hamsters? I mean, wait, that's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> my god wow we flew this one to the side of the mountain didn't we? yeah this just went fucking rated x here oh my god you're welcome oh, man. <laughs> man. oh my god wow you are hi welcome. diane <laughs> wow <laughs> hi diane oh, welcome, uh, welcome to the the shit show <laughs> yeah it started uh, out. Yeah. It started out good. We're good though. But uh, we're, yeah, we're okay. We're good. we uh, we exposed, we exposed to, one. I still want to go back to Fort Mifflin with just you guys. <laughs> yeah, I think we could do that. Just just let's go back oh, yeah. instead of having a public investigation like we did last time. Yeah, and John's oh, gonna man. take all. John's yeah, gonna take all the work this time. Yeah, got to man. I am the wheels were never on the bus. We are a dysfunctional <laughs> group. Hold <laughs> on. They were really small wheels on a really short bus. <laughs> and now it's just a short butt on like cinder blocks. So <laughs> <laughs> hold on. What better place than having it in Baltimore City? 
Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, look out, Penhurst. Oh my God, right? Dude, uh, I know, I know. With Penhurst, Gina team, wild. Dude, I know. Oh, with wow. Gina's team, we were talking about at because we rented an Airbnb and so did they. You guys should tag along. We were talking about going back to the house and like doing burgers or like cooking out and just hanging out at the place and, and just around the a fire good time. pit. Yep. That'd be cool. Just you know, That'd telling cool. stories, hanging out, and just having a yeah. good time. Drink that'd a beer or two. Cool. Hell yeah, that'd be real cool. Nice. Yeah. I'm down with that. You guys, yeah. we're at Penhurst. You're talking about a Penhurst? Yeah, it's, yep. our, our place is like 12 minutes away. Oh, okay. That's sweet. Yeah. So. Yeah, we I mean, have to find a place up there and uh, spend the night. Yes. That would. Airbnb, man. I'm telling you, it was the way to go. Yeah. It's so much cheaper than the hotel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's going to be fun, man. I can't wait. I didn't go last year, but uh, Tom went. But, yeah, uh, and I, I went yeah. up to Tom and I was like, what's up, dude? And then like, I talked to him for a while. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. yeah. How you doing, Doug? Did you guys? <laughs> did you guys get a vendor table already for Penhurst? Yeah, yeah. Sweet. I booked it last year. It's just yeah. like they came around and it was like, "We're definitely coming back." Like, I, I paid for it on the spot and was like, "We're good." So yeah. we'll be outside yeah. again. I don't know exactly where they're gonna put us. I heard they may assign people where they're gonna be this year because there's too many people. Oh, really? Yeah, too many people were complaining <laughs> last year. You know, so, I thought it was great last year. You know? I mean, our tent was busy as hell. We had leftover equipment from public ghost hunts and like old equipment. Yeah. We sold it all out, uh, nice. just because it was like stuff we didn't want. You know, it was like might as well just get yeah. rid of it. And we had shirts for sale. We sold all of them out minus one. Um, you know, like nice. we just we were just in a good spot. Yeah. And plus, we were approachable. You know, we we were like, hey, come talk to us. You know, even yeah. if you don't believe, you know, you're skeptic, whatever, come talk. No, nice. Diane. Diane, the, uh, the the guy's name was Tony uh, Williams. Or uh, your name though. Yeah, or, Tony. Doug, how do you say it again? <laughs> it's I Tony, don't think you can try that again. It's Tony Gorbachev. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going that one now. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it is outside. Yeah, it is. We had good weather last year too. There it is. So we kind of got lucky. Yeah, we did. Yeah, it it, nice. it'll, yeah, it'll be cool, John. You being there too, because like I said, it was a good environment. I mean, you guys had a pretty good spot too. The only thing yeah. that sucked about your spot is when the speakers were there, because it just clogged everything. Yeah. Like you couldn't even get to your table when the speakers were there. Right. Yeah, that's true. But other right. than that, you yeah. guys had a good spot too. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, if I get a table next to him, boy, it might be might be thumping out that motherfucker, bro. That, <laughs> yeah, that might be kind of sporty. Shit, he's gonna get a fucking lump and he better, better count his fucking blessings oh. he didn't get it that night. So so we had a we had a little bin last year and it said drop a card or take a card, drop a card. So they right. dropped they dropped the card. Uh hold on it's that way. There you go. What is that? Oh, I think I there you go. And then look, they even gave us a little pamphlet, you know, a nice little pamphlet. This nice. is not the team that has the fraud. <laughs> it's not the yeah. team. No, it one hundred percent is. This is not yeah. the team, John. Not the this, team. Yeah. <laughs> this, is not the team. <laughs> this is the marble cheese head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! Oh my god, cheese sandwich. I hated it. Oh, no, you gotta know. play. You gotta. You just gotta play that clip. On just this for all episode, the people, that, the people that, that came in late. There's a lot, and these people that have come in late, they have earned the cheese sandwich clip. All right, here's the cheese sandwich bit. <laughs> this is Tony under full demonic possession. He doesn't like cheese sandwiches. I didn't see the newspaper today. Can you tell me what today is? Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. April seventeenth. Yeah. Nineteen oh seven. Thank you. Did your wife pack your lunch? She did. Did you pack your favorite? Not today. Oh, what did you do? Oh. <laughs> what did she? Wait for me lunch yesterday. Oh, that would explain it. What did she pack you instead then? What was that noise? Well, it's probably a chair speaking over there. I'm guessing. 
What did she pack over there? A cheese sandwich. Yep. I hate it. And I hate it. Chuck in orange too. The greatest part the greatest part was he said a cheese sandwich and she went and he went, I hate it. <laughs> like fucking watching Paris it. Hilton. I yeah. hate it. <laughs> uh, oh, we'll, probably get, we'll probably get some hate mail after this one time, but you know what? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. We all are. Say goodnight. Say goodnight. Good night, mom. Good night, mom. Good night, good night, night, mom. Good hey, night mom. Tom, can you read Benny's comment? You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> no, you made him oh. a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he made him a shit sandwich, not a cheese sandwich. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What's Zach's helper's name? Bacon. 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 Bacon! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we might get some hate mail from Zach Bacon's answer this one. Jesus That's Christ! <laughs> That's right. We're definitely getting hate mail, both of us. We are definitely. Oh, yeah. We're definitely Hopefully, getting phone uh, calls. Hopefully, I, I made some, some new friends that are friends on my Facebook page after this one. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for all the friend requests. I hope, I hope, right, Rich, yeah. I hope Rich sends me one. We're friends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't this is a rat, legal guardian. Yeah, oh, man, this is great. This is great. I love oh, it. Fantastic. Yeah, see, look, we even fantastic. kept you guys here. Got a whole bunch hey. of people. Hey, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Look, and, I, and then I got, nice. got a miracle, so, you know. Hey. hey. We did. We kept the card yeah. because, you know, I told everybody nice. if there's a case we can't get to, I want to make sure we give it to the right people. So, yep. I'm, I'm yeah, waiting to, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for them to. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to come back and have my face on a, on their website or their podcast. This fat fucker here, he said we were phony fuckers, and <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll say it again to your face, you phony bitch. No, you phony. God. <laughs> sandwich in Zach's museum. Oh, good yeah, one. I just love when we were just fucking tearing him apart, dude. And he just sat there and just took it like a good boy. <laughs> you know, I'm like, who the fuck does that? You know what I mean? Like, you know, you're wrong when somebody's just tearing you down for a half an hour straight and you're not saying shit. The girl didn't, <laughs> Oprah, Oprah didn't say nothing. She just sat there like, <laughs> I can't believe these guys are really fucking tearing into Tony's ass like that. Yeah, yeah, we did. It happened. You just you wanted to rate the performance, you know? Yeah. What, what, what would Thomas give this performance? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What Thomas uh, give his ass chewing? You just got. Right. You get yeah. a shit sandwich, make... and you get a shit sandwich, and you get a shit sandwich. <laughs> the Sarah, Sarah <laughs> asked if you made him cry. Yeah, no, well, I don't... Uh, John didn't make him cry. Now Don probably did because Don went. Yeah, right. all. Don went <laughs> fucking ballistic on him, dude. dude. I remember leaving, and I called Doug that night, and he Doug was like, "So how'd it go?" And I was like, "It went like shit." <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I was like, "You have no idea how this fucking went." Like, dude, <laughs> I went right in, dude, for the fucking kill. I was like, "Boom!" And Brand, I just see Brandon's look on his face. He's like. Dude, I was like, I was like, I knew, happen, I knew at this moment, I was like, damn, oh, this is about to go really bad, really quickly. <laughs> he fucking asked for it, dude. dude, dude I really dude, want your opinion. I'm like, it nah, is. Dude. He did. He kept on asking, and John's like, you know, I, it's not what we do. And he's like, nah, tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. And then you all were like, all right, fuck it, here we go. Yeah, I'm like, dude, I'm like, nah, dude, we don't do shit like that. He's like, yeah, I just wanted the truth. I'm like, all right, you want it? Fuck, you're gonna get it, dude. Don went fucking head in on his ass, dude. Pow. Uh, Round one, fight. The, the funny thing is, is the the owner of Samuel Miller. She went to put her two cents oh. into it too. She's like, "Well, I'm a psychic medium too." And Don's like, "I don't really give a shit." <laughs> <laughs> he said that, and I was done. I was like, "Oh yeah, Don, sweet baby." <laughs> I was like, We're we ain't never coming back here anyway. The fuck it, you might as well go all in, dude. <laughs> fuck it. Dude, he went fuck more than all in, baby. He, he went more than all in. He went, he went oh all God. It was it was funny to see. It was That's fucking hilarious. great. I was proud of him. <laughs> usually 
usually the quiet type, and uh, they they pissed him off so bad. <laughs> Don was just like, "Fuck, I fucking had it, dude." When we when we were packing up, he goes, "Why the fuck did you call me here for this?" I was like, "Dude, I didn't even know this was gonna fucking happen, dude." Like, I thought we were, I thought we were really gonna investigate. I don't know what that turned into, dude. Well, you know, John, the sad part is you said you even had some experiences when me and you first went the first time because I told you it was a pretty cool place. We have plenty of experiences there, and it looks like people in chat who have been there before have had experiences. Why the fuck do you need to fake shit? Like, it's already documented, and so many people have activity. Why? You know, like, you, we had a good thing going. You didn't have to fuck it up. Yeah, it was, it was uncalled for, man. That fucked up again when we were talking that meeting and. I was like, dude, this is just, nah, I'm not feeling this guy, dude. Not at all. I'm like, there's something with this dude. Yeah, you get that bad intuition about people, you know what I mean? I'm just like, this guy's an egotistical fucking jerk, man. Like, I don't like it. And, uh, because he just totally, like, it was like, fuck me and you, you know what I mean? And, and mm-hmm. our team it was it putting his team already above ours. You know, we were starting the whole thing, you know what I'm just like? Yeah. Nah, and then we, just, then we couldn't get two words in, and it was like, Oh, no, we don't like that. And I'm like, that's a good idea, John. I think it's a great idea. We should definitely do that. And yeah. it was like, no, but that's not going to work because... And we're like, what the fuck do you mean it's not going to work? Like, Yeah, I'm just like, ah, dude, I'm not feeling this guy. I was actually going to say, I ain't going to be involved with that. After that, I was definitely wasn't going to be involved. I was yeah, like, right. nah, man, I can't do it, dude. That's a no hard feelings, dude, but nah, it's just not going to work, dude. Hey, nah, I'm going to jump in for a second. So, yeah. uh, so uh, Rich... Is saying gotta figure out a way to share the shirts. <clears throat> that shirt idea. So he can he said he can bring in the pen or send uh send the picture got, to us. Got, we'll yeah, post send, it on our got, page too. Yeah, I'll post it on our page. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. Nice. You can make some shirts, oh yeah. Oh, we'll yeah. put them in our stand for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. I was gonna say we'll do the Hell same yeah. thing. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> It'd be cool. Oh, yeah. It'd be cool if we just saw like a hundred <laughs> cheese sandwich shirts all over Paragon. <laughs> oh my god! And, 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 if, be- and if everyone in the chat gets one, and then we just have like cheese sandwich day, I mean, yeah. where we all wear them. It's We're gonna bringing a like cord. It's going to be just like Brian and Rochelle's pickle shirt. Yeah, exactly. Hundred <laughs> percent. The paranormal oh, cheese shirt. A paranormal yep. t-shirt. There you go. Oh Put on God. the bottom. Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> cheese sandwich. Yeah. Like, no. No. Put the <laughs> I hate it. Put it. I hate it on the back. So like people actually there you like, go. look Put at it. Put on there. She packed me a cheese sandwich on the underneath of it. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cheese sandwich with a corn husk. Oh my God, yes. dude. Oh my God. Oh my Hilarious. God. We should have a oh, best, wow. best shirt contest that whoever can make oh, the best God. shirt. This is it's hilarious. I have to do a replay of this when uh, before the Paracon, so everybody knows what a cheese sandwich is. That's right. <laughs> what we're referring to. That's right. Oh, my God. <laughs> we're going to have people oh, just shit. flooding the tent at Penhurst. Hey, can I get I a cheese so. sandwich? Can yeah. I please Where's get a cheese sandwich? Where's the shirt? <laughs> if either one of us run out of shirts, we'll just be like, go to the other team. <laughs> yeah, right? Go check out that one or that one or that one or that one. It's so you great, just, dude. You'll find more. You'll find, just keep looking. Dude, yeah. then uh, we'll be like Oprah. You get a cheese shirt. You get a cheese shirt. You get a shirt. You're getting a fucking cheese shirt. <laughs> Shoot him out of the shirt gun. Yeah, shirt, shirt gun, yeah. <laughs> shirt, yeah. Just dude, just random, we could random make, time, just fire one off. <laughs> we could fucking make a, G, a t-shirt cannon. All we need is PVC and hairspray. That's it. That's it. Oh, man. You know, you know what we should do is make a get a make a cheese sandwich and put uh, and make it real hard, like put it in an epoxy and we'll leave it on our table. <laughs> Set it on his table. Benny, uh, Benny, you're in charge of that because <laughs> he will fucking do it. I guarantee it. Oh my god! Oh my god! 3D print a cheese sandwich. Yeah, oh yeah, my Jason, god! Jason said a cheese shirt cannon. That's fucking it, baby. Yeah. Poop, 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 yeah, poop. Yeah. <laughs> we can shoot it from our tent to yours. Just keep shooting. Iris, it Iris, the floor. Iris, is <laughs> the- yes, <laughs> my girl, Iris. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
it's cheesy. Yeah. Oh, love too it. bad. Too bad you, you couldn't get one of those cannons and talk when you're shooting. We'd be going. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. That'd be fucking great, dude. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Wait, we should make a music box that just says that. <laughs> oh my god, god, dude! Oh my god, <laughs> so great, dude! I was when he said that when he was in there and he said that I literally fucking had to hold my mouth and not laugh laugh because I wanted to hear more because it was so funny. Like I'm like this guy can't honestly believe. I <laughs> <He laughs> think we're gonna fucking believe this shit. They, they, somebody just needs them. They have those one of one of the the pens that you can record your voice into and just go. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And when you walk by, push the fucking button, and the bitch says, "I hate it. I hate it. I hate it." <laughs> gonna get an audio clip when I put it on our speaker. <laughs> A cheese sandwich, and I hate it. Can we, <laughs> wait, wait, Doug, can we Play add that? Over. Doug, can we add that to our video we're making for Penhurst? Yep. In the loop, we're making another video of like all the pictures, like we places we've been and investigated, just the pictures. <laughs> yeah. But we'll feed it in on the loop in the pictures. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. There you go. Oh, it'll be it, look. It'll be subliminable. So we'll fucking just flash it real quick. <laughs> I'll send so, you. The, I can send you the actual clip. But I'll just clip it, clip that part, oh and send god. it to you. Oh my I god, it. dude! We have, <laughs> we, wait, we should get a guest book, and the pen that we leave there is the one. So they click it, and it goes, "I hate it, I hate it, I hate it." Signing. That would be cool as shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rich is in. He said he'll walk around Penhurst and the Bash playing. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, <laughs> Rich would walk by their table and just keep clicking it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. They're gonna be like, "What?" Well, he ain't even gonna get it because he's so fucking stupid. He's like, "What? What? What do I hate? The cheese sandwich. Remember? <laughs> oh yeah, that. Cindy, wasn't it a cheese sandwich? Yeah. Fuck. Yes, it was a cheese sandwich. Oh my god! Wow! Unbelievable. <laughs> oh man, these fuckers are gonna print out pictures of us and throw darts at it after this. Oh well, that's fine. Oh well. Don't worry, we're in this together. What did you say, John? That's earlier, right. we're all on the train together. Yeah, we're man. all on the train together. Hey man, you're yeah. either gonna be on one side of the fence or you're gonna be on the other. You want to be on the side that's with right. this fucking goofball steak? Knock yourself out. Do it. Yeah. You know. Knock yourself out, but you know, I'm more, I, you, you get on this side, <laughs> you're gonna be good, you know. <laughs> yeah, dude, Rich, Rich is fucking hilarious. Man, you're my kind of dude, Rich, Rich. You're my kind of dude. Rich, definitely add us on Facebook, like, even if it's not yeah, the team page, I don't yeah. care. Just pair of family, yeah, John. Please do, man. Fun. Yeah, yeah man. anybody that's here that that we're not friends, please, please, please. Yeah, friend all of yes, you guys are awesome request. people. Definitely go to our YouTube page, subscribe yeah. to that, and uh, go to our Facebook YouTube. page. Yeah, whatever, yeah. man. We're on Podbean too. We, we'll we'll mm -hmm. download this to Podbean too. So yeah, yeah. Uh, don't don't forget you got Haps, and you have Above and Below Paranormal. Exactly. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go and give them a like. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Diane, hang on, you're going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Jason's page. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Pip Paranormal. Yeah. Pip Paranormal. Yeah, Pip Paranormal. We got Gina from uh, Empirical Paranormal. I mean, we got a yeah, lot of good go people. Give them a like. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All part of, uh, she's part of the TAPS family along with us. And, yeah. uh, we'll yeah, get man, there. We got... We'll get there one day. We just got to get the time, the years there. We're not enough years yet. Right. Yeah, I mean, we've yeah, pretty much been there. there. Yeah, I mean, we've been in the Taps family pretty much since its inception. So, um, in fact, I've been there so long that when he first started it, I don't, I think there was no one really in the Taps family in Pennsylvania. And um, they, you know, they were just looking for teams and mine and a couple other teams they reached out to. But we didn't even, we never even applied to be in the Taps family. They just asked us to. Send me an email. I'm know, already so. getting friend requests. Thank you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking over and I just see Facebook oh, damn. notification. Facebook notification. <laughs> I love oh, you. That's awesome. I really, I really do. It's funny. 
Yeah, man. I'm glad you guys. I'm glad you came and, and contacted me again about uh, you know this guy because uh, I was just gonna let it ride, but after you sent that, I'm like, now nah. and then all the other things you had said, you know, about messages and yeah. I, I didn't even I, I didn't even say anything about that because I didn't want you know upset your friend, so I didn't say anything about it. But I mean, this guy, man, he needs he needs a fucking real check, man. Like he honestly, needs that check. honestly, what did it for me was the Marvel was in question, and then we had like a I would say like a disagreement, and I you know I brought up I'm like look like I'm not sure like nobody believes the Marvel thing like it was it's me and Doug talked about it forever, nobody believed that shit. And then after me and him talked, and I told him I wasn't sure about the marble, of all people, you guys know Doug. Of all people, he calls Doug and tattletales on me and is trying to get Doug to believe that the marble and all their evidence is fucking real. And out of everyone he could have called, he calls Doug. And then oh, my God. And then the worst person he could have called. Wait, then Doug oh, calls, my God. As soon as they hang up, Doug calls me, and Doug is in fucking tears. Like, I say, he's probably cracking up. Dude, yeah. he is, he's laughing <clears throat> his ass off on the phone, and I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what's going on? Like, I didn't know what the hell he was doing. He, I literally answered the phone. I'm like, hello. And he's like, hey, I got his. <laughs> and like, I'm like, talk, Doug. Talk. I don't know what you're talking about here. Tell me wow. what is going on. And he said, yeah. Yeah. he was very hurt. He was upset with me because I called out and was questioning their evidence. And I'm sorry. It, like, I post evidence on YouTube and shit knowing that I'm going to get backlash. And I want people to talk about it and be like, look, this is a situation. This is what happened. We think it's paranormal. If you don't, that's fine. But explain to me why it's not. So that way, if it's truly not, then I know, okay, it's really not. You know? If you have to defend yeah. your piece of evidence so hard, you're probably a fucking fraud. Yeah. 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 Like, dude, I know it's full. When I watched the video, I was like, oh, he's full of shit. But as soon as he, as soon as the marble drops, uh, can you, you, you shine the light over here? Something's tapping my chair or tapping my shoulder. I'm like, here he goes, man. Mr. Center of Attention fucking bullshit. And, and the marble's right next to him. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, that's, you know, that's believable. You know, 100%. And, uh, and like, like I said to you, John, on the phone the other night, it always has to be his way. And I'm sure everybody in the chat that knows him, it has to be his way. Like, he wouldn't want to know about all the cases we were taking and all this shit, but they wouldn't tell us a damn thing they were doing. You know what I mean? And oh, uh, I was like, Yeah, and I'm like, no, like, fuck you. Like, I'm not telling you what's going on. Like, the one thing I talked to John about, about that government thing, I talked to John because you guys have done towns. You guys have done things where you've needed, you know, I wouldn't say clearance, but more clearance than just a random house. So I was like, John, what advice do you have? What can we say? What would you do? You know, because, like, that's what I cherish in a friendship. Like, you know, just being honest. And we talked about that, and then we just started this conversation with what the fraud, exposing the fraud tonight, and it just, you know, it took mm -hmm. off, so. Yeah, and then and then well, Brandon told and then Brandon told me about it, and I said, "Oh, I gotta fucking be on this one, dude." Yeah. You didn't you didn't even tell him about some of the shit that happened after uh, Prospect Place out by your truck. Oh, oh God, I forgot. I forgot all about Wait, that shit, dude. It gets better. It gets so much better. Here we go. What fraud, happened? fraud part two. <laughs> all right, dude. No, John, you're literally gonna piss okay. yourself at this story. All right, I I'm going to without really giving much away because I do want people to go and watch it and really comment their own comments to you know I like feedback. If you think it's something else, then by all means, I'm not going to get hurt by it. But my experience at the end of that Estes session was a very spiritual experience for me because of everything that I had gone through. So with that being said, I completely <clears throat> lost it. And I, I guarantee you, I cried for an hour straight, nonstop, uncontrollably. It just came out of nowhere. So I'm standing by my truck and I'm just bawling. I can't talk. This motherfucker comes up to me puts his hand on my shoulder and says, do you have any questions for me, son? And I looked at him. I said, no, what, what the fuck? Fuck, she thinks he's Jesus now. Wait, wait, it's not <laughs> over. Wait, it's Hold not on. over. 
Oh my so God, dude. I would have flipped I, that I, on him right there. I'm still crying because I know what I just experienced and it was a very profound moment in my life. He fucking looks me dead in the eyes again and says, son, do you have any questions for me? I said, no, I don't have any questions for you. He was trying to channel Jesus or God. Wow, dude. Fucking and the worst, me, the, dude. the worst part is one of his old members that were on his team wow. who actually came and investigated with us said that was part of the reason he left because he, he heard Tony do that to Doug and he goes, who the, who the fuck did he think he was? Like, who was trying to channel Jesus? Like, come on, man. Like, okay, so... Wow. In Man, my opinion, so so old, old, yeah. All right. Wow. In my opinion, so because of what happened <laughs> to me in my life, it, yeah. and where I was headed, I'm gonna. I'll just go out. I'll tell you what I think happened to me at the end of that video. It was either Jesus or the Holy Ghost. My firm belief. That's my belief. I don't care what anybody else believes. It changed exactly. my life. Mm-hmm. So. If that's going to happen to me and Jesus or the Holy Ghost is going to present themselves to me and I'm the only one that could see it at the time. Mm -hmm. What makes anyone think that Jesus or God is going to channel through this motherfucker? Yeah, exactly. No, you're right. Absolutely. If you're if you're God, why would you ever have to channel through that fucking moron? He ain't channeling. He ain't channeling nothing but a. Bad fucking but, look on his face. But that's what I'm saying. Wow. What I'm it. saying is, you present. They presented themselves to me. Why would wow. they even try to channel through you? <laughs> right. Wow. Uh, my my mind's still blown over that. Yeah, that guy, man. And, what a and, fucking wow. lunatic. And you know what's funny? Wow. Is, that was part that's of the. That was, that was the only part of the night that I wasn't near Doug, because. Kim wanted to do that Estes method, and there was already like six people in the room, seven people in the room. I'm like, there's enough people. I'm gonna go to the basement where the you know the underground railroad was, and I'm gonna go hang out mm-hmm. down there. And I went with like one or two <clears throat> other investigators and hung out down there. And all of a sudden, we're sitting outside, and we're all just talking, waiting for them to finish up. <laughs> and all of a sudden, Doug comes out and he's bawling his eyes out. I'm like, what the fuck happened? Like, Doug doesn't cry, so like seeing Doug cry is like rare. I'm like. And he yeah. definitely he definitely don't cry in front of people he don't know. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I go over to the truck and Doug's just sobbing and he's there with his wife. And you know, I was like, hey Doug, you need me, I'll be over here. And I like, you know, I walked away and was like, I'm gonna let him have his sure. space, you know, because you you gotta let him sure. have his space. And then right. that shit, then that shit happens at the truck, and then later that night, you know, we we talk about it. But I'm like, oh my god. I don't want to. I wanted the floor is there. I'm like, dude, you better get the fuck yeah. out of here with that crazy shit, man. Get out of here, dude. Well, see, wow. the way it affected me, I wasn't even think. I wasn't even in the right frame of mind to think that he's no. trying to channel Jesus or God, you know. Right. But then it dawned on me. I'm like, dude, I literally just said, I saw God. Yeah, those words came out of my mouth. And then all of a sudden he comes up and puts his hand on my shoulder. And I'm like, now it's, now it's all sinking in after the fact. And yeah. it's, I, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. It, it, re- it really clicked in. Like we, we had a brief discussion, but on the way home, you know, cause I was driving from Ohio to Maryland and Doug was driving. I know he lives in Ohio, but he was driving to his house. So it was like three hours away and we're on the phone talking and he's like, you know, it re- something just doesn't sit right about that moment. And, you know, we, we had that rediscussion again. Mm-hmm. He goes like he tried to channel Jesus, and it, you know it was definitely a conversation that we had. Yeah, gotta be shitty. Yeah, yeah, that's unbelievable. Yep, dude, this my flag. Was, no, oh wow, dude, my flag was yeah. up with that guy as soon as I fucking met him. I was like, oh man, this guy's full of shit, dude. Yeah, out yeah of, I, every, I can just tell, man. Out of everything that happened, I can deal with the marble. I can deal with what happened upstairs during the Estes method. But to do that, knowing that if there is a, if, you know, because some people believe, some people don't. I'm, I don't go to church. I'm not a Bible thumper by all means, but I believe in a higher power. So if there is a higher power, why is the higher power going to choose to channel through a human being? 
Exactly. He can come see you right. himself. Fucks need right. that right. off for. Right. Yeah, I believe wow. in God. I believe in Jesus. Just, I believe in all that for sure. It's just, it's just despicable. I I believe in demons too, yeah. but not on not on the on the the scale of what what the fuck is on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah, the YouTube like every fucking little show on there. Demon House three ten, through three thousand. Uh, <laughs> the haunting of Demon Two, Demon Cottage, <laughs> Demon Farts, Demon. I mean, look at like, look at the the Project Fear uh, episode. High low clouds. Fuck, nice. The project on, man. The, the Project Fear episode today. It was um. I think it was I didn't called. Watch it. Don't let no, it. No, 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 no. I think the episode is called uh, "We Encountered the Demon at Conjuring House" or some shit like that. Is the name of the title of the episode. I'm like, why? Yeah, why? Like people know the reputation of the Conjuring House, regardless if you believe or not. And I know, right. John, you you know, I know the whole story with you, but if you believe or not, a lot of people believe that there is. You don't need to put it in there. Like, Dude, if- right. I heard the story from Andrew Perun herself a long time ago before, before the Conjuring even came out. When I was on Para <laughs> like, Damn you, Scott. <laughs> oh, it's Scott. What's up, Scott? I haven't seen him in forever. What's up, buddy? Um, yeah, I mean, we all had mutual retards in our uh there i go again i'm, I'm politically wrong again Doug, so <laughs> mentally challenged people that we've had to deal with in our lifetime oh my gosh um i'm gonna get political correct right there mentally challenged people <laughs> scott scott knows them i know them yeah, like, christy knows them like dude you run into these people and you're like what the fuck is wrong with these people man you're like they're on another fucking atmosphere, dude. You're like, what? It, what? Why? I don't understand why. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it blows your mind. You're just like, yeah, yeah. Block that fucking retard. Block that. Oh, sorry. Block that mentally challenged person. And that one. <laughs> that one. Asshole. That <laughs> one. That one. You know, I'm just like, dude. Yeah. Hey, you. You know. You know. You're really in trouble when you go to Salem me and get kicked out of a shop me and they tell you to go down the street and buy the thing you wanted to buy in their shop at the other store down the street <laughs> because so you look, called out their bullshit yeah so i go to salem right and oh it's so haunted whatever and i go into this they had like saging stuff but they also had like books so it was like part library that you could buy books and then you know the sage stuff whatever you know sage if you believe whatever you know i'm not gonna get into that but they had this book and it was, you know, like occult symbols and stuff like that, which I thought was fascinating. You know, like I don't know all about the occult, but I like to learn about it regardless if you believe or not. And I go upstairs because they had, you know, the two floors and the book sure was on the second, <laughs> second, um, it was on the second floor. Dude, I like Rich. Um, <laughs> cool. But when you go to the top of the steps, they literally had mediums. Come get your reading. Okay. Oh, oh wait. It was three rooms, and they were just divided by a curtain. That's it. It was curtains. And they set from left to right, they set uh, the person that paid, the medium, the other medium, the person that paid, the other medium, and then the person that paid. Oh, well, my God. They, when I got up to the top of the steps, it was a mom, her sister, and then her daughter. And all of a sudden, I'm sitting there, and I'm, like, read, flipping through the book because I wanted to know, like, symbols and stuff. And I hear, so your mom died. And that was on the left where the mom was. And he said, yep. And then it goes, oh, so your mom died. Yeah. And then I hear on the right, so your grandmom died. And I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, all right, I'm not going to fucking say anything. I'm just going to listen. I'm going to be good. And then it's like, oh, she said she's with your grandfather. Is your grandfather dead? Yes, he is. Is your father dead? Yes, Uh, it is. And it went back from right to left. And I said, you have to be fucking kidding me. I said, there's no way that you guys aren't catching on. I said, this is a fucking waste. And the shop owner comes out and said, you have to go. You can't talk like that about our mediums. I was like, you mean you're fucking frauds? Like, there's not mediums. And and they were like, they started to, like, escort me out. And... I have the book in my hand. I was like, but can I buy this book first before you kick me out? And they're like, no, you can actually go down the street, make a left, and then a right into the bookstore, and you can actually find it there for $3 cheaper. <laughs> they, like, they, they, just want, they just wanted me out. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's funny because my friend lives right, awesome. right outside of Boston, and her and her husband were like, 
this is the first time we've ever had anyone kicked out of Salem. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I said, you're welcome. Um, All right. There will uh, be. Yeah. He's easy, easy on answering this because we don't want to offend anybody. Yeah. But we also like to tell the truth. So if this offends you, we apologize. However, Sarah Lee, this is what we believe. Go ahead, Brandon. Well, I was going to say situations like that and like John and I know Tom and Doug Gettysburg, you know, Gettysburg, every fucking corner has a medium like right. <laughs> I, I believe in very few mediums. Myself and Doug are friends with a medium. Her name's Susan. She's told me and Doug shit that people should not know. I've been to a house where my dad took out a whole stair, uh, literally a staircase and put in an elevator and we walk in the house and she's like, there's a staircase missing. Like, you know, there's just certain things and I'm not, you know, I believe people have abilities, but you got to fucking convince me. Like, I'm not just going to say, oh, you're a medium because you told me so. Give me something about my past or like a word that I should know. Like I always, when people say I'm a medium, I'm like, okay. Look, I'm going to walk over here real fast. I'm going to tell my ancestors, you know, like my word is, you know, I'll use Kevin Hart example. My word's pineapple. Make sure she says pineapple. And if I talk to her for 45 minutes and she don't say my word, well, then you're full of shit. I just don't believe you, you know? Sure. So, but they're very few and far between for medium. I think yeah. one out of a thousand, you know, may be legit. Yeah. My wife, my wife went to one and uh, with her friends, and I'm just looking up on her, looking up on this person online. I was like, oh, they look like a bunch of, she looks like a goofball. So I, uh, I called my wife and, uh, I was just fucking with her. And I said, this is Johnny Wishbone. <laughs> and I'm going to give you your psychic reading. You are about to be $300 fucking dollars empty in your bank account when I give you no reading. <laughs> she <wasn't laughs> a motherfucker. As she played there in the radio where all her friends were in the car with her, they were all laughing. That was funny as shit. She said, you're a dick. You're a dick. I was like, that lady doesn't look legit at all. I said, you might, you're probably going to get ripped off. <laughs> I was like, you're going to waste my money on this shit. I said, won't you find a real psychic instead of somebody like that? Yeah, Salem. I don't oh, even. Man. I don't even remember what they charged. I think it was like 120 bucks per person. And there's some, of, and there some of, these, of them there. Some of these uh, second meetings, I think they just shake the fucking magic eight ball, and they're like, "Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes." Oh my god. Maybe so. Well, you know, I will. I will tell you. I've only come across one. One. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, one medium in my life that I truly believe is a medium. And that is Susan. Everybody else, you know, that says they're a medium. I've seen where just like Tony, you, you say you have to prove it to me. So I believe it. They get fucking pissed off and they start throwing a temper tantrum because you're saying you got to prove it to me. Well, if you're really a psychic, you should be cool with it and fucking yeah. prove it to me. You should say, bring it on. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And that's something Susan never, like, she never does. She's like, okay, like, if you don't believe me, that's fine. Like, I know what I can do and, like, what I've seen. And, you know, that's something that, like, me and Doug have definitely picked up and, like, respected is if you're that pissed, again, it goes back to this whole faking evidence shit. If you're that pissed, you're probably a fraud. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. I've been I've met a couple of people that said some shit. You know, they said they were psychic and said things, and I couldn't explain it. You know, I was like, "Oh my fuck, she knew that," but she knew yeah. it. You know, it was weird. Maybe she checked up on me. I don't know. Maybe she did. Maybe she didn't. But I mean, there's things that Susan had told me from like when I was five years old that I completely forgot about. Hmm. You know, in my life, what? Wow. How in the hell she fucking know what what I'm doing at five years old, living in Michigan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's very possible. And, and it's not like Doug, you grew up with Facebook, you know, where like most of the kids and stuff did. Now, <laughs> where like you're posting all your shit on Twitter and everything, you yeah. know, like you didn't have that yeah. shit. It was literally just no. what was inside your head. Yeah, yep. you know, right. you can't, you can't post like memories from like when we when we were growing up because <laughs> there was none of this shit. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. 
<laughs> there was none, man. We li we lived in the last good era, I think. You know, that was it. <laughs> People that lived in the eighties and the you know, seventies, eighties, nineties. That was the last good era, man. This this area now is fucking <laughs> weird. It's a it's a fucking strange <laughs> realm we're living in. <laughs> we could call Doug old. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, all I'm all I'm saying is if you were born with a dick, you're not a chick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Politically politically correct. All we're, right. definitely, <laughs> we're definitely yeah. we're definitely getting that month fan now. We're <laughs> biologically a guy. I don't care which way you want to shake it. Which way you want to shake it. You're a dude. You belong you belong <laughs> in the men's bathroom, not the women's bathroom. Yeah. They probably they probably want to shake it near the cheese sandwich. <laughs> Yeah, like ah! if, yeah. If, I, if my daughter was little and my wife took her in the bathroom, shake it off. Oh, oh shake it off. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> but, uh, it's just like you know, if my daughter was little and my wife takes her in the bathroom, and I see a fucking guy going in there dressed like a girl. Yeah, I'm gonna be saying some shit. But like, yo, take your Get fucking right? goofy ass over here and go stand up at the urinal and Dude, do your business. My, my you, daughter's you, my daughter's you, seven. You, you don't think that I would pull my pistol at that point? I'd be furious. You know, I swear be, to God, I would pull me. my pistol. But like, you better take your ass over in that bathroom. You ain't going over my daughter. Ain't gonna dude, happen. dude, honestly, depending on where we go, like I will literally go in the family restroom and literally like you take care of your business. I'm standing at the door facing the door just because like that's how <laughs> lack of trust I have in people. Because yeah. you just don't know in that situation. Yeah. Diane, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll break it down for you, Diana. I hate uh, it. Oh my god! You know, I think it's really. I'm impressed. John's got it down to like a T now. <laughs> he does. It's, it's pretty good. We need a side by side, Tom. Uh, at our next like event we do together, yeah. we need a side by side. Which one is which? And <laughs> just hit yeah. the play. I know, right? Right? <laughs> which, yes. Which one is Tony? And just play the two side by side. I right? Hate oh. it. <laughs> oh, I swear to God, dude, that All was right. the funniest shit I've ever experienced. Oh, God. From oh. from my knowledge, and I don't know if this is a hundred percent true, but from the EVPs and stuff that we have gotten, this Thomas character, he was not gay. So he didn't talk like that. And he doesn't sound like that when we have him, when we have his actual voice on recording. He also kind of sounds like a black man. So for him to be talking like this, and he hates it. Yeah. You really think that's gonna fucking happen? It, it's gonna be like motherfucker, she made me a fucking cheese sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, full of shit. For dude. real. He's totally full of shit. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> the first I didn't know I'll tell I like you that, when yeah. it first started happening, I was just like, Is he all right? I thought he was having a fucking heart attack or a <laughs> stroke or something. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I'm like, I like because I'm like, hey Tony. And he's not answering. I like click my later one, and he's like, "Kill it, kill it." Sounds like the fucking emperor on fucking Star Wars <laughs> when he's all electrocuted and shit. I'm like, "What the fuck is wrong with this guy, man?" I'm like, yo, and she's like, "Turn the light off. Turn the light off. Cut it off." I'm like, Ooh, "Channeling you are." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a fucking nut, man. I'm like, dude, you, got, you cannot actually think I'm going to take this serious, dude. I'm like, yeah, exactly, Angel. I'm like, this is insane. Thomas oh, absolutely insane. cannot stand women in his air in his work area. Period. Can't stand them in there. Really? Yeah, yeah. we sent so, we sent all girls investigators, like a team of three or four, into that area. They got not a damn thing. We go as in. Soon as the guys go in. He starts talking. Yep, and we're getting EVPs nonstop. Like we're like Thomas, are you here? Are you still here? And we get on EVP. I'm still here. It's one of the clearest EVPs we've ever got. And we're literally right. getting answers to all this stuff. And then we bring a woman back in. Dead. Nothing. Like nothing's going off. Not Good like point, not even it? not even a flashlight is going on or off. And that's I mean they're phony as shit. But even yeah. then they weren't even going off. It's wow. like. Yeah, and then you take the women out, and like all the equipment starts to go crazy again. It's, it, it, you know, it's it had happened. And... Rich, nice. thank you so much. You yeah, thanks, had, Rich. Yeah, thanks, Rich. 
you, you, uh, you, lit up, you definitely you lit up made the chat my room. night. You lit up the <laughs> chat room, brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude. Thanks make the, the cheese sandwiches. Request. Oh, dude. Make the cheese sandwiches sure it's going to happen. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll fucking stand out. in front of his booth with a fucking cheese sandwich shirt on. Everybody here for lunch is standing there eating in front of us. Just we'll stand there with a fucking oh. shirt on and we go, I hate it. Dude, I'm gonna bring, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring a cooler full of just bread and cheese. Dude, <laughs> dude, I will bring my fucking camcorder. I'm gonna record you doing that, and then I want you to drop a marble on the table. <laughs> Like a mic drop, drop a marble drop. Yes. <laughs> Bam. That, that, I that, hate it. Dad. I, I swear to God, that's gonna go on Bam. one of our blooper reels. I, I gotta hate videotape it. that. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and oh, a man, cookie. You can't so you can't forget the cookie. And a cookie. Uh, yeah, like, do that and just stand there and get a cookie and just yeah. eat it right in front of them. <laughs> Good night, Christina. Good night. Thanks for coming in the chat room. Thanks for everything. Thank you. Appreciate everybody who came in tonight. And uh, we're gonna be signing off here soon. So yeah, it's been uh, man two and a half hours. We've been holy hell, yeah, smashing this guy. Hey, so. when we have when we yeah, you know, it's fun. We keep going. Yeah. We don't even look at yeah. that. No, right? Angel, because you'll take a shot every two seconds. And <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'm. I'm old. Cool. So, well, I'm gonna wrap it up, guys. Um, yeah. Thank you guys awesome. for coming on with us and uh, exposing a fraud, man, because uh, it needed yeah. to happen. Yeah. I thank happen. you for ha- thank yeah. you for having us on, and thanks for uh, covering this. Yeah, man, it needed to happen, bro. It needed to happen, and yep. I hope a lot of people out there watch the episode and uh, mm-hmm. you see this guy steer clear of him. I mean, a lot of people are gonna probably be hating on it and saying, "Oh, that's not true. It's fucking true. You've seen it." You heard it. Yeah. Got real evidence yeah. of yeah. actual real investigation. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I, 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 it, I think you I think the comments and read everybody. Yeah. I, I think you might need to close out the show with a mug shot. I might have to do it. I think Angel, just said it. Angel just said it. Angel just said it. Great minds think alike. All right. Oh, uh, or minds in a river. <laughs> All right, Angel. This is for you. <laughs> <laughs> Bad boys, what you want, what you want, what you gonna do When Sheriff John Brown come for you <laughs> Tell me, what you gonna do, what you gonna do Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? When you were eight and you had bad traits, you go to school and learn the golden rule. So why are you acting like a bloody fool? If you get hot, then you must get cool. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? You chuck it on that one, you chuck it on this one, you chuck it on your mother. God, I love you, John. Oh, my. <laughs> Oh my god! I had to oh. that twist in there. Hey, don't <laughs> don't forget great. to bug out. <laughs> <laughs> you can, one day you got to show that picture. One day. Oh my oh. god! Yeah, I I, I, got, I forgot to I forgot to download it on here. Oh, but... <laughs> that shit was so funny. Oh I can't unsee oh it. Oh god! Bro. Oh my god, man! Thanks guys for coming on and uh, uh, yeah, prepare for the hate mail. But you'll be all right. We'll be all right. Yes. I'm, sorry. I'm sure we'll pass it back and forth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I ain't worried uh, about these clowns, man. <laughs> Not at all, dude. No. Not neither. at all. No. You got a lot of people backing us up, so don't even sweat yeah, it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a good weekend, right. and I will see you all on the flip side. Take care, everybody. Yeah. Have a good see night. Ya.